Yes, this game is fucking scary, all right? If you can't handle scary, get out. You're not gonna be able to handle this game. This game's too big for you. It's genuinely too big for you. You won't ever be able to finish it. Okay, you're, ju you're just not gonna be strong enough to take on this game. I'm sorry. This one makes me genuinely poop my pants. Wait, no, it doesn't genuinely make me do that, I promise. But it is scary. It's freaking, it's scary. But yeah, the 2.0 patch of this game came out and with it, basically the entirety of the game was reworked and it's almost not even recognizable from the version I played a year ago. Uh, so I'm playing it again. It loads about a thousand times faster, runs about 10 times better, uh, has a lot of new content. It's very good. And uh, just like before you even like ask, okay, yes, all right, I'm gonna be playing it while sitting. <laughs> People are gonna be like why, wondering why I'm moving weird. This game will make me throw up, all right? It, it does that. It, it genuinely is too much for me to play in long periods of time standing, so I play it in, in sitting setting for this game, or I feel like I genuinely can't stream it. So I will be sitting in a chair for this one, because it's actually very functional in that state. I get headaches when I play this game for long periods while standing. I think it's because of all like the visual effects of like the anomalies and stuff just get to me and make me go crazy. Everybody plays VR while sitting, dude? Uh, no! I don't think so. It depends on the game for me. Most shooters I play standing. because I want to have the ability to turn quickly. Faster than the controllers will turn me most of the time. Like, I beat all of Alex standing. Boneworks, I couldn't imagine playing sitting. This one works because it's sort of a slower, methodical shooter. It's not as... It's like, you know, it's like Stalker. You don't... You aren't, like, sprinting around, gunning everything down like a psycho. You, uh, you take it a little slow because you'll die if you don't. It's gonna be a good time, I'm fucking excited. Obviously, when I try to turn on the game, well, actually, the game's already on, and so is the audio. Matter of fact, if I click this button, I think everyone will be able to hear it. Uh, I'm gonna test it now, actually. Hang on. Shut up, Yoshi! Yeah, that's good. Okay, I preemptively did the audio. Uh, and all that's set up, but we'll see if it works. <laughs> We'll see if it works once I need to play the game. You don't play Stalker like a Psycho? I've played Stalker for long enough that it probably looks when I play the game that I'm playing like a Psycho. That's because I'm, I've played Anomaly enough times that I know how the AI works and I know all their weird quirks. But um, look gang, this one's cursed. I don't know what to tell you. This game still gets me. I haven't left the tutorial map of 2.0. I haven't gotten out. They design it like the old school stalker maps now, where it's like a bunch of smaller maps that are much better made than one giant map that takes 40 years to load, which is really good. So, um, there's more, there's more stuff to do in a smaller area, is what they've done. And I think it's great. Two days in a row of tutorial only. They throw you, look, tutorial map and tutorials, like, tutorials are different things. Okay, this is like being in Corden. I wouldn't call Corden a tutorial zone. It's just like the, you know, it's the first area. It's made to be a little easier. But even then, it's like I had to, I was testing the game yesterday and I got fucked. I got fucked 
by like eight guys and I had to hide inside of a room and like sit down and smoke cigarettes quietly in a corner because I genuinely couldn't get out because there was like five fucking zombies and two guys with guns wandering around my house trying to find a way in but they couldn't find the door because I was sitting in front of the door blocking it with my body. And then the monolith came in. And then the monolith came, dude, and they blasted me. They cut me right up. Look, it's going to be a good time. There's going to be a lot of exploration, a lot of quiet pondering, a lot of misery, a lot of misery. Uh, when you die in this game, it drops all of your items on the ground like a psycho, so, um, it's a hard one. This is a hard game. It's actually, they've done some rebalancing of how the combat works since the last time I played 2, like a year ago. Uh, they've changed how- They've changed the focus from being on knives to being on guns, thank fucking god. Because melee combat was a rough time in this game when everything could one-shot you. So, uh, now it's like, a knife is like just to break a specific part of a monster once it's already dead and not to genuinely dispatch everything that comes near you thank fucking god cuz i remember i remember when i played in 1.0 i would open up my backpack in this game and i would have 40 knives because bullets cost too much money and guns cost too much money to upkeep so i would simply carry 40 knives because 40 knives would one shot everything in the game and would last way longer now the focus is on guns and you're usually not out of ammo, which is good because in a game where it's already hard enough to aim because it's in VR. It's not easy to aim in VR games. It's probably, I would dare say it's a thousand times easier to aim a gun in real life than it is to do it in VR with no weight on the weapon. But uh, yeah, I, having a lot of ammo barely even helps because you have to manually load the magazines in this game chat. Just like, for the record of like, if you don't know what to expect going into this, I have to manually, with my hands, load the magazine of the gun out of boxes in my bag. <laughs> so once I run out of magazines, I'm stumbling around in the dark with a box of ammo. Sort of Tarkov style, except I had to do it myself. So there are some things I unfortunately have to avoid because of the way that VR display works. Uh, there will be a point where I have to do it, but aside from that, I'm going to keep it off of my face and it's a gas mask. This game doesn't have any like proper built-in display things for streaming. So obviously I have to use the VR capture on my desktop, which is fine. It does that merging view thing, which is whatever. People are used to it by now, they know the deal. But uh, with a gas, like it's got like a gas mask overlay, which is how you like go into some anomalies like safely. Uh, we'll just have to bear with it on that because it's going to look like a little crusty because it's going to be trying to merge an overlay that doesn't, will never line up. So it'll look like one big circle on one side of the screen and then a half circle on the other. It'll technically, if you look past the overlay, look perfect still. It's just that it will look a little bit crusty during gameplay. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Imagine being a chatlet that complains about the overlay. Well, the nice thing about VR is that I get to ignore every chatlet. And especially in this one, chat. You think I'm gonna have time to read your chat messages outside of like base when I'm in base? When I'm out there, there's a constant, there are blowouts now. Like there are blowouts in the game. There's a, there's a genuine blowout countdown in this game. It's got most of the stalker stuff now. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really wanna I don't, I don't, I'm not really gonna have much time to read you once I'm in. I'm gonna probably just assume that I'm gonna read the chat whenever I'm like not in the fucking zone when I'm in the base. It really is like Stalker VR now. They've done a really good job with it. Get caught in a blowout RP. Yeah. It's called a tide in this game.
Yeah, I could crack open cans of beef and eat it with a knife. Honestly, that's what knives are for now. Knives are just utensils to eat things with. You don't really, you don't stab many people anymore. You're more of like sitting down using it to eat food. Can we see a blowout? I don't know. The blowout in this game I don't think actually kills you. I think it does something worse, which is throw you to a part of the map that's completely random like a teleporter and then fuck you. Because in this game, obviously, you're I'd say you're more vulnerable in this game than you are in like an anomaly game. I get shot once and my health is mostly gone. This game's a lot of like taking it really slow. It's like a Caves of Cud teleport black hole. It's going to be, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Oh, yes. Favorite and least favorite zone in Stalker. Uh, it's not hard uh, to say that. What the fuck is it? Darkscape is the worst zone in Stalker because it shouldn't have existed because it was designed for a part of the game that they cut. Uh, that's the worst zone. <laughs> it's Darkscape. That's not hard. It's not even a real zone. It's genuinely like an included cut content. And uh, my favorite zone is... It's not Red Forest. People are saying Red Forest. Red Forest is a shithole. It's too many anomalies. It's like almost impossible to walk in that place without exploding. I think it's too dense. I Honestly? Honestly? I like, I like Jupiter the most, I think. I think Jupiter is the best stalker zone. More like Poopiter. Shut up. Who even is that guy? Who let that guy in? Does anyone know that person? Show that person the door. Now. He's my friend. Yeah, well, now you're uninvited to my party, too. Get out. I like Pripyat. Here's the thing, chap. I've played so much Stalker Anomaly, but you just never go... There are so few instances in the game, uh, at least in Anomaly, where you go to those areas. Like, you go to Pripyat maybe one time. Like, cause it's just such, there's not much, like, human presence out there, so there's not many quests to do. So it's like, I'm never going to Pripyat. If I'm going there, it's for, like, something spicy. Limansk is the best area in the game because it's so fucking awful. Limansk is a linear shooter. Uh, it's not an area. It's not, a, that's not a zone. It's just a linear shooter zone. It was like a, it's a set piece in the like base game. You go there if you're trying to farm uh, monolith gear. If that makes sense. If you know, you know. You go there if you feel like you're like tough enough to kill eighty thousand soldiers and then take all their stuff off their bodies. I hate the Great Swamp. No one likes the Great Swamp. All right, there are sickos that say they like the Great Swamp, but they're fucking wrong. They're, they're so wrong. They're sickos. They're just sick. They don't know what they're talking about. Zatan is a better Great Swamp. Yep. 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 Cordon is a military hellhole. Cordon is too easy. I've played too much Stalker, so Cordon is just like, a, oh, I gotta go back to Cordon. There's nothing to do in Cordon. It's like the same thing over and over again. There's nothing to do out there. It's just a fucking in-between checkpoint zone now. Honestly, the zone I think I play the most time in, though, in Stalker is Army Warehouses. Easy. I think I spend the most time in Army Warehouses over any zone in Stalker. Like, I swear you're always going through there for something. 
I've got that place like memorized. And if you need gear, you just wait for people to start shooting because there's always someone shooting someone in army rare houses. Stalker 2 looks terrible. Has there been new gameplay? Or are you just saying you think it looks terrible because you're scared it'll suck? Because that's a that's a valid concern. I know there's like gameplay that came out like two months ago or three months ago, but it looked like Metro. <laughs> it just looked like Metro. I have no opinion until I can actually get my hands on it, because until then it just looks like they're trying to make Metro. I love Rostock. I hate fucking Rostock. Wild Territory, though. Wild Territory is a fun time because that feels like a dungeon. Pushing through Wild Territory. That place is like a fucking dungeon. Like, it, 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 all the enemies spawn in such a way that it's like you're pushing through like one thing and then you're at another fucking miserable checkpoint of it. Wild Territory is great. Garbage is the best. Garbage can fuck off. Garbage is actually miserable. I fucking hate garbage. Oh my god, garbage is so bad. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. I'd rather spend 10 times more gameplay time in Truck Cemetery than I would spend another second in garbage. Because it's garbage. So I, you see, it's like that kind of conversation that we have where like 20, only 20 people get it and there's like another fucking ton of people that are just like, what the fuck are these assholes even talking about? I don't understand what the fuck any of them are saying. They're just saying words. Yeah, I mean, my favorite zone in the game is Chernobyl and PP. Ha ha, cause it has PP. And when you're in the building, it looks like PP on your screen. It's funny. I like that place. It reminds me of piss. I love it when a guy whispers in my ear over and over again Russian bullshit! As I quietly and slowly push through 80,000 monolith soldiers to get to a big rock! And then I miss my exit so I'm running around a circle over and over again! No idea where I'm going! I still have yet to actually go to Chernobyl MPP despite 50 hours into my save. Don't even bother, there's no need! Unless you have a main story quest telling you to go there, don't don't even bother. There, you don't want to go. The only reason to go to Chernobyl proper is to fucking immediately do a quest. No reason other, otherwise, there's just no reason. Which lab is best? All labs are equally miserable, and I groan whenever the game tells me to go into one because it's basically asking me to die for it. It says go to labs, and I say, please. <laughs> Don't make me go. But the easiest lab is the one, I mean, technically I count the lab uh, where the miracle machine is, and that one's easy because I know the layout and it's sort of set, it's a scripted set piece. So I can do Miracle Machine, whichever lab that is, really easy. Cause that's just like five snorks and like three bloodsuckers and then some zombies. And then a Bearer and then a controller. And then a pseudo giant. You know? Man, this does sound like crazy babbling, yeah. Yeah, well, it's gonna get worse once I'm into this game, and I really am crazy babbling. <laughs> it's gonna be so much worse once I'm in this one, and I'm crazy babbling. For real. In, in the real life.
This is the Stalker official theme song. This is the one with uh, the bass boost at the end because it keeps me on my toes and I kind of like it now. I'll never say how deep into the song I am. You never know when it's gonna just blast you. Ever. Scary factor isn't a joke in this game. Yeah, no. Look, chat, horror games in VR are scary enough. Horror games in VR where you're also playing a survival game at the same time are fucking dismal. Like, I, uh, a bullet flies by my head and I just start shrieking like a little, like a scared animal. Eee! And I, like, fucking dive into the ground and, like, try to dig a hole to hide in. And then, like, a little spider crawls up to me and starts slapping me in the back of the head. That person who said hi, YouTube, uh, delete their message. Get that out of here. People pay money to get onto the YouTube channel, all right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See, it's fucked up because it says they got timed out for 30 minutes on uh, the stream, but they got timed out for one second uh, on my side, is what it says. So, uh... That's weird. No, well, he overwrote him. Oh my god. The fuck? Ah. I can't believe both of those timeouts at the same time equated to a permanent ban that can't be undone, according to Bezos. I'm clicking right here on the unban button and it says it's too late, they're dead. Shame. They're gone. Hey tubers. <laughs> hey tubers. Dude, I don't talk to any tubers, dude. Like, I don't know a single fucking tuber out there. I used to be like so in the loop with tubers, you know? And now, <laughs> barely even recognize them. Lies, you know Markiplier. I definitely don't actually know Markiplier. <laughs> I met him like I met him like once on a part like at a party on a trip and he was nice and that's really all I can say <laughs> He didn't like punch me in the nose like that's all I could really say about him Basically all I can do is go down a list of like youtubers from like 2012 well 2015 that were hot shit And I can tell you if they did or didn't try to punch me or someone else in the nose at a party that you couldn't see them in All right, I can do that for you personally I can go ahead and go down a list and tell you who's tried to punch someone else in the nose Jeremy never tried to punch anyone in the nose. I can I promise you he never tried to punch anyone in the nose Kraken never tried to punch anyone in the nose. No Absolutely not Bucklington actively tried to punch me in the nose. Con co regularly tried to punch me in the nose. Alex pushed me into traffic. I'm not, that's barely even a joke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good times. Sam? Uh, so much taller than me that he genuinely couldn't reach my nose if he tried to punch me in the nose He's like freakish Isn't he like one inch taller? Yeah, but it feels like a fucking mile And he's got he's got dinosaur arms. Yeah, he does He's got like, he's got those dinosaur arms, you know what I mean? Like those T-Rex hands. Bruce? Bruce never tried to punch me in the nose, but he definitely could have. Sark! Dude, the amount of times, I shit you not, the amount of times that I have, like, I randomly would just, like, bump into Sark on, like, 
like on trips like at parties was so weird. <laughs> Sark's a good guy, dude. I want to do something with him soon. Have you ever met Lawrence? I've met... Yeah, I've met Lawrence. I've met most people. <laughs> I've met... I've... Look, chat. I've been around. Okay? I haven't... And I haven't met a single person that sucked. Okay? <clears throat> I'm a very important man. Uh-huh. What about Bill Gates? He sucked. All right, I don't know what to tell you about him. He, he punched me in the nose. He was actually the only person who ever punched me in the nose. Did you deserve it? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Chad, I was playing a bunch of EDF last night with Manda. Just like playing gaming. We both got the EDF hunger, and I finally reached the breaking point where I was like, I gotta switch back to Fencer, I can't do this anymore. I shit you not, chat. I've been playing EDF this whole time. Like, all, all the time, playing Air Raider. And I finally reached the point where I was like, this sucks, nothing else is worth playing, but yeah, Fencer, I can't, I have to go back. I, I, I just, like a fucking addict. Like an addict, I was like, I have to go back, I have to go back, I have to go back. I need to go back to Fencer. Why Fencer? It's so much. Cause right now we're playing in twos because Gmart's a little little bitch. <laughs> he didn't show up yesterday, so we were short a person for the game. And so man is playing like a wing diver and I'm playing an air raider and I can't even fucking I can't even like get to her to res her because I'm so slow. I'm like, if I was a fencer right now, I could kite these enemies forever. They would never catch me. You all saw! I streamed a tiny bit of EDF one time, I think. And I shit you not, Chad. I was I was like a god on the battlefield. All right, there's evidence, there's visual evidence of it. I'm uncatchable. Ain't Shane always up for EDF? Yeah, but he's like at that power level where it's almost like not fun to play with him until we've sort of caught up to him. <laughs> There's a, there's a, look, health is like the only real difficulty scaling in EDF, and when you have maximum, the maximum allowed amount per level, you are basically unkillable. You're basically a god. And, uh, he's at that because he casually, quote-unquote, uh, grinded, um, 9,000 armor in a day. So... Gmar is still mad you guys wouldn't give Qua that 1,000 gold. You can, uh, you look, dude, I talked to him about it off stream because we were just like fucking shooting the shit after D&D. &D, and <laughs> I consider it goblin RP. Like, I'm not, Clint's not giving away any money, okay? I don't give a fuck. You gotta rip it out of his goddamn hands. Staying true to Goblin RP. That money's gonna get hoarded and invested. Okay. I think a good name for Clint. A good new name for new Clint is Clerk. It's gonna be Clint. I've already decided his name's gonna be Clint. Yeah. He's gonna be a badass. Nah, his name's gonna be Clerb. <laughs> nah, I'm just lying, guys. His real name is gonna be Clerb. Hey, everyone. My name is Clerb. Clerb. Should be Slugma Balls. Oh! Baby! That's now, that's a name! Now, that's a name! Oh my god. Look, chat. More power to anyone that names their character a penis in a D&D campaign, but that ain't me. Alright? <laughs> I, I respect their hustle, I guess. But, uh... <laughs> 
I'm gonna stick with naming my characters characters on the off chance I actually start to feel attached to them in any way, shape, or form. Because I don't think I could get attached to a character named my cock in your mouth. Uh, I just can't. I, I just personally can't. Look, I, whenever I design characters in D&D now, I design them with the, ex like the possibility that they will be a long form character that will have to interact with other groups of people that I'm not familiar with. And I don't want to be named um, Poop Poop. Uh, <laughs> the, the life cleric Poop Poop. You know? Mike Hawk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look, again, no, no judgments here. If someone wants to name themselves a uh, big bowl of a uh, big bowl of cum, like a bit like just name themselves bowl of cum and just like roll with that. That's on them. Look, it's <laughs> I, that's not my, that's on them. That's fine. As long as the DM is OK with it, I don't care. But I, I'm not going to name my character, um, you know, penis. <laughs> Funny names. <laughs> Forty sessions in and balls everywhere. The bar is still funny, dude. It still kills me every time, man. Fucking love it. Busting my gut. Can't breathe. Although, to be honest, like, full life. <laughs> I was like, there's been a part of me that's always been like, maybe I should do, like, a DD and d one-off one of these days. Because I got, like, something I want to do for, like, a one-off, like, in, like, a unique thing I've, like, thought of on my own time. I think that if I invited friends and they named themselves Penis, I would tell them to change their fucking names. <laughs> I think as a DM, I, have, I am uh, entitled to say you have to change your name. You and me are done professionally. <laughs> you, uh, hey. Slug my, slug my balls. <laughs> uh, the, the squid, the, like the fucking slug monster. D&D character. You and I are done professionally. Get out of my office. I miss the Pokemon stuff. I miss getting gargling balls, dude. was a different time. It was a different time. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to actually change into shorts before I start the game today or I'm gonna like die. I'm, I, I'm actually like overheating. I'll have to do that when I move over. Shrelk, Srinch, Zrock, Scrunch, Scrinch, Kresk, Kraup. Yeah, those are some good names. Well, see, I need like a, I need like a fucking compendium of all the really just grossest fucking names. Cause I like having them around, you know? S name bias, my God. Shut up. How about you just get better names like Scrumple? Huh? Chad, if you're so fucking jealous, embarrassing. Quinch. <laughs> Scrumple my balls! <laughs> Come on, Chad.
Now that's funny. Now that's funny. <laughs> oh boy, I got D&D tomorrow, chat. It's gonna be a big session. I mean, I, I knew, like, look, I knew that Sam could do the thing he did in that session. I knew, because he had talked to me about it before I even joined the campaign. He was, like, telling me stories about, like, the campaign and everything. But boy, oh boy, I wasn't expecting him to burn it so fast. I'd say he, the thing he did, he can only do one time, Chad. He did it then. That was his one use of that thing. Heard the news of what happened in Astroland? Yeah, it fucking sucks. Uh, people are fucking psychos, dude. People are absolute fucking psychos. But I'm not big into like music stuff, so I'm very I'm sort of out of the loop. If there's anything that happened in it that wasn't like just people being psychos and then hurting other people because they're being psychos. But yeah, no, I'm not filling you in here. You can look it up yourself and find the information. But at least then people won't be asking me about it. Uh, yeah. God, I, I, I dude, I swear. Like, it's actually, like, weird. Having two D&D campaigns running at the same time, like, running, like, playing two separate campaigns, has sped up times passing quite a bit. Weeks used to take a while, and now that I got two campaigns running at the same time, the weeks seem to go a lot faster. It's kind of fucked up. And soon I'll have one more. Although, once Brett's campaign is done, I think whatever campaign I do with him next is not going to run as long. And also, because of the design of it, he's doing, like, a... He's doing like an MMO sort of like anyone can join whenever they want approach, but that is super duper not my scene. So I get the weird feeling I'm not going to play as much in phase three once I'm done with like whatever my personal campaign is. It's interesting what's happening, but like it's like a lot of like anyone can join this open world like spot if they want while the stream's running. And I'm like, that's not... Gang, I, if there's six people in a call, I'm not joining. <laughs> like, eh, that's too much for me. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going in there. Scared of crowds? Not scared, but I don't like Dono Wall. I don't like being Dono Walled or Dono Walling others. And, uh, I mean, fucking hell. You guys watched what happened during SCP. When you have that many people all trying to talk and say something funny and tell a story at the same time, it's actually three people talking louder than everyone else while everyone else goes, Big giant TTT vibes. Look, I like, I like, having really personal RP with people. Like, it, like, genuinely, my favorite stuff I've done with goblins is, like, shit, like, just Cheezel talking to Clark and stuff. Like, the, like just, like, the character-to-character -character interaction stuff is the best stuff in D&D. &D. That's a lot harder to do when there's, like, more people around, you know? That's what I've liked a lot about, uh... The Godforge stuff so far is that it's really, it's like a lot of that. And a lot like faster. Like I've already had like some really good interactions with everyone. Cause it's again all that like theater of the mind stuff. So Joe's constantly going like, and this is not like to be clear. This is not like me trying to compare like Joe and Brett's DM styles. They're totally different fucking beasts. And I'm not here trying to like show like, oh, I don't know this right. This is better this is over here. It's just like, you know, I have observations of like what I kind of prefer from like, like a, my personal desires for RP and character development. But I will say this, uh, last Goblin session was actually the last like whole arc of Goblins. Uh, Brett has completely outdone himself and uh, it, it's blown me away. Like, like genuinely. And, like if you haven't watched Goblins, uh, 
Brett has like completely fucking nailed like this last arc in like such a fucking unbelievable way because I had no idea what the fuck we were doing once we like finished the Cosmicara stuff. And I was like, I was genuinely like, I don't know how the fuck he's going to wrap this up in like a way that feels like meaningful, on, like on a time limit. And he really did nail it. <clears throat> that, you know, if we hadn't done like uh, probably the most objectively fucked up thing ever. Look, chat, D&D story time, okay? Plug up your ears if you don't want spoilers for goblins because it's fucked and I'm going to tell the story. We as a collection of goblins broke into uh, this big head honcho goblin named Chief Big Belly who uh, is in control of a thing that we require in order to save our lives. We're slowly dying. We have to get into his place to get the thing that keeps us from slowly dying anymore. Unfortunately for him and everyone else involved, it was, uh, it was his daughter's birthday. And uh, we, well, mainly Cheezel, who hates his daughter, and him, I suppose, uh, went to his daughter's room and had them polymorphed into a mouse with the help of Qua, Gmart's character. And then bagged it into a pillow. We killed everyone else in the building, aside from Chief Big Belly, who was in a different room, in like a basement, unable to hear or see anything that was happening. We then prepared the rat, because they got turned into a rat. We prepared her, this gigantic, disgusting goblin monster, into a sandwich. She's polymorphed, meaning if she takes one damage, she will return to her normal size. We prepared them into a sandwich, like bound them up so they couldn't squirm out of it live. They're alive as a sandwich. And we take them downstairs to Chief Big Belly. They then, I then disguise myself as a goblin that works in the building and I personally f deliver him the sandwich under the guise of it being his lunch. Uh, we feed it to him and the polymorph immediately deactivates and he explodes. He's not dead though. It's phase one of a three phase fight. So his daughter is uh, now back to being normal and looks over to the just destroyed corpse of her dad. And she just starts screaming and crying and screaming. And then we kill her, <laughs> but not before Qua polymorphs her again. And then Cheezel tries to bite her head off as a fucking hyena. Chat, you guys can say it's evil RP, but in our defense, and you might not remember if you've watched Goblins, and if you're fresh watching it, you will definitely remember, uh, Chief Big Belly started it. He sent an assassin after us. He, he literally started it. He just wasn't ready for how much we were willing to escalate. All right, he wasn't ready for the escalation. Polymorphism is OP. Yeah, she's lucky that I didn't have her catapulted fucking 500 feet into the sky. And then get like had a guaranteed arrow shot on her by portenting model's arrow. Dude, she's lucky we didn't have her fall 500 feet to her death. All right? Because that was also an option. That's a forever option. With polymorph on the table. Dude, I actually, during that fight, I had a moment of, like, realization where I was like, my character's build is fucked, and I should probably take it easy on the status effects. Because at a certain point, I felt so bad, and I know that, like, Brett wasn't, like, annoyed or anything, but you all n probably saw, if you saw the session, there was one round of the combat where the guy had, like, eight different statuses on him because of me. And we were just stacking effects on him, and Brett was just, like, rolling five different things. For every time he did like a move. <laughs> I felt like that. I was like, I have given him too many effects. Like this is, he, Brett says he's doing something and I say, you're gonna have to roll one D4, five D8s, a D6. And then you're gonna have to roll a con save and then a dex save and then another D6. And if you're gonna attack, <laughs> you're gonna have to take damage for the dot that Qua has on him as well. And that's gonna be an unsettling words D10 minus his next move. It was fucked. 
Dude, it took, it took 42 sessions or whatever, but Clerk finally fucking grew into his powers, dude. I tell you what. Next boss is immune to statuses. Nah. Chat, here's the thing, is that a good DM makes bosses harder, doesn't, and they don't gimp characters while making a boss harder, okay? The point of D&D isn't to beat the players, it's to have the players have fun. Everyone knows that, and Brett knows that better than anyone. So, gimping all of our abilities and saying, oh, they're immune to every single thing that you do is a bunch of bullshit. Now, there's a good way to do it, which is what Brett literally did, which was when he phase shifts, he loses his conditions that he has on him, which meant that I it dropped all of my abilities, which was fine. You know? But how else is the DM supposed to win? <laughs> but streamer, how else is the DM supposed to defeat you? Chat, who's saying, am I ever DM? I'm gonna tell him flat out, it's me versus you. You better get ready, cause I'm gonna take you down. Within the rules, I'm gonna take you down. The rules say that you can do whatever you want, exactly, which is why I'm gonna take them down. Make sure everyone, make sure that you design at least five characters before the session today. It's the pilot! I know. <laughs> Please have at least five characters prepared, each, in case one of them dies. We're doing a darkest dungeon kind of thing. <laughs> you see, many of you will die. I got like spooked for a second because I realized, oh my God, we're actually getting close to the sound. Let's rewind that a little bit. Look, I think if everyone is un in the understanding that a level like a fight in D&D &D or like a whole D&D &D campaign is going to be tough as nails, I think that's awesome. Like, obviously Goblins was intended as a joke campaign. So it's sort of difficult to like design it for everyone playing at maximum power. Uh, no hate towards Krendor, but I don't think he knows what D&D is yet. <laughs> so I think that, I think it would be, uh, I think it would be hard to boost the difficulty of the fights much. But, um, <laughs> uh, we have, I would love to do like a campaign that's just like, this is super fucking hard. And if you don't min-max, you're going to die. Because I'll tell you one thing, I min-maxed the fuck out of Adelward. Like, that character is me going, like, I want to kill, and I want to kill good. And I, and I want to be fucking scary. And I would say Adelward's a fucking scary guy to fight, as far as, like, mechanics are concerned. You can't get- if he hits you, you can't reach him without a reach move. Because he just keeps bouncing backwards. There's no cap to how many times I can bounce backwards, chat. Per turn. So, like... I can, I can bounce backward on my move, and then during a reaction opportunity attack, I can bounce backwards again. So like, I've got 10 feet of movement to move away from people during a fight. I designed that character specifically to kill Sam. <laughs> That's right. I used meta knowledge and looked at Sam's character sheet and I put together the perfect kit to kill Sam. Let's take him down. Yeah, Adel War can just grapple someone and fly 500 feet in the air and deal 50 D6. I, chat, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think you can grapple and then cast a spell. If you can, fall is the most powerful spell in the game. Look, the best thing that I could do is basically do what we considered doing in the Goblins campaign, which is genuinely, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, Brett, I'm not gonna read that fucking paragraph. Um, uh, 
is genuinely have a polymorph go out, like polymorph a mouse. You know, polymorph him into a mouse, and then then Adelward could cast Fly while carrying it, because it would be weightless. And then just be like punch it once while I'm in the air gliding, and then they'd fall to their death. Like that might work, but I don't think I could cast while grappling. Now, there's one thing I could do, which is something. Okay, chat. I can cast while I'm harpooning. If my harpoon is attached to someone, I can cast fall then. And they're technically attached to me by my spear. And then, as long as I'm outweighing them, and therefore they're being pulled up because of my weight. Oh, baby. Now we're somewhere. Because I can detach that harpoon with a bonus action. Alward's medium uh, size, so it wouldn't work with many large I I enemies, so it's not really as cheesable as I'd like it to be. But it is a cool fucking spell. I, I love that. I think that's my favorite spell I've ever played with in a game. Like, the fact that it just synergizes so well with a really specific thing I picked from a different subclass. Like, Chad, I'm not supposed to be able to glide. Like, that fall spell is supposed to be an insanely dangerous fucking play. And it's only because I took a super... I read through that entire fucking, like, document when I was designing that character. And it's like a tiny little, like, item you can pick up with a class ability. Like, I'm not supposed to be able to just, like, fly around with it. But it's cool that I can, and it's cool that Joe lets me. Because it is, I think, the most interesting fucking little bit of character detail for Adelward. Because <laughs> between you and me, Chen, I haven't talked about it yet on the uh, thing. Adelward super duper can't fly. <laughs> Joe and I have already talked about it. He can't, he can't. Don't tell anyone, though. None of the other players know yet. He can't swim. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that if he goes in the water, he's going to sink. Too much heavy armor? I'm not going to talk about more than that. Into the radius, more like into the poopiest LMAO. <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> fucking, that's fucking funny. Oh my god. Yo, fucking funny. Can I get a gold star on that guy? I need to get a gold star on that player. And can I also get a bin on that guy? <laughs> can I also have that guy thrown into the, thrown into the bin? While we're at it? Right now? All right, chat. I am going to go to the bathroom and do the prep for the game. Uh, Cause I gotta move my chair over there. Uh, so I will be back in a minute with the actual uh, game. All right, we're gonna get in. We're gonna get in. It's gonna take like two minutes, so I'm just gonna mute. All right, and then you'll probably hear me come back on the other microphone. Back in a minute.
All right, Chad, I'm cutting the music and I'm going over. Let's get this. Let's see if all this shit works or not. I really hope it does. Give me a second, I just gotta unplug the fucking the fucking wire for this thing and then we'll be working fine. Calm down, fucking uh-oh bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Why is there that little bit of like schmutz on the bottom? What the hell? Hang on, let me try to fix that. Oh, it's because it was the wrong display. Okay, this should work now. All right, yeah, now it should be working. Be right back. I love this fucking shit. I love that I... All right, chat, what are you hearing? Like, what did you hear? Did you hear, like, my microphone? Or is, like, the game suddenly not fucking working again? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You can't even hear my mic? What is happening with my fucking... Hang on, there's, like, a... There's, like, an actual fucking monitor that's, like, glitching out on my side. We heard not a thing. Wait, hang on. telling me you don't wait what how are you dude what how the fuck is my new my other mic suddenly not working oh my god you've got to be fucking kidding me oh that is so this fuck i fucking hate doing vr dude i fucking cannot believe how miserable it is to do vr Okay, we're gonna have to do the full restart of the fucking game. Even though I re even though I did it all before, even though I literally set it all up, I have to redo it again. Woo! Oh. I did everything right and it still doesn't fucking work. Mic works. Chat, shut up. That's not the right mic. You think you're being helpful, but you're not. Give me a second! What the fuck? Why is this? Dude, this is actually like, this will fuck the entire stream if I can't get like the mic to work. I literally did everything right and now it's not working. I'm, I, I'm baffled. I'm baffled because I did everything perfectly. It's not even saying it's connected. I guess I will unplug it and plug it into a different cord. The microphone that I'm supposed to use for this isn't detecting. Okay, it might be now once I reconnect it again. I see it now. Oh, perfect. No, you fucking can't. Oh my God, it actually isn't working. Dude, chat, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm, I, I, oh.
I can't believe it. Hang on. I'm I'm going to go. I'm going into the deep properties. Device. Ant lion. Okay. You can hear me on this thing now. I I fucking I sure hope. Oh my god, this fucking shit. It literally deleted the old feed. It it literally deleted it. I have to like reset the fucking volume now. Cuz it's supposed to be louder. Oh my god. Okay. Give me one more second, chat. Now I have to fucking turn this up a little bit. I have to raise the gain because it's too quiet. Because it's fucking reset. I'm like, chat. I, I was late today because I set it all up. Because <laughs> I, I genuinely set it all up beforehand. Because I was like, I'm not going to fucking have this problem again. I'm definitely not going to have any tech problems. And then it did it again. I'm I'm sorry. I don't know why this keeps fucking happening with these, like, things. I really don't understand why it does it. But I think that I think that volume will be fine. It's mostly in the yellow, which is what it should be. Let me try, like, mumbling. Yeah, that should, that should be fine. I think. I think that should be fine. The only reason it would sound quiet is because you're comparing it to my other mic. But I, I'm not going to raise it up to red because it will probably do uh, horrible peaking because it's not the same microphone. Uh, okay. I'm going to restart the fucking game now. And we're going to see if that part fucking works, even though I literally already did it. Even though I already did all this fucking shit. I hate my life. I fucking can't believe I have to do all this again. All right, chat, give me a second. I'm going to fucking try to get the audio to output for you, even though I fucking already did all this. Maybe you can hear things now that I have to restart the entirety of Steam VR. Game, can you hear it? Can you hear the game? Okay, fucking thank God. All right. Okay, then we're good. Oh, the fact I had to do all that again is maddening. Okay, all right. I'm gonna turn on the visuals then, and we can play. Oh, it's like, I, like, chat, if you go back to every VR stream I've ever done, you will see this exact scene happen 20 different times. It happens every time I do fucking VR. Every time. Shit you not, every single time. You can't do it. Whew. Give me a sec. I'm just going to reposition myself. All right. And chat's gone. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna bring you to me this way. It's fine. Everything's gonna be- Everything's fine! It's all gonna be fine! I'm gonna turn you down a little bit to like, I think, there for now. How's that? For like the wind. We won't be able to do any audio balancing until we get to guns anyways, but that should be better for the audio. Okay. Fuck. Do I have water? I do. I'm going to take a fucking sip of water. Everyone can see the game, right? Everyone should see the game and everyone should see that weird like blending on one side of my eyes over here, right? You should see like that blending thing happening, right? Yes. Okay. That's deliberate. That's that's the point. I think you you'll know once we're in game. Okay. So if you don't know what this is, it is into the radius. It is stalker in VR. It is really fucking good. It's really fucking good. Okay, I'm gonna close you for now because you don't know you won't be able to see it anyway, so you're just saying I don't see something that you can't see. Uh, but yeah, it just came out into 2.0. It's been mostly completely remade. It is awesome. And we're going to just play it and see. We're going to play on realistic. The default difficulty. Default everything. Not Iron Man, because you can sometimes just blow up by accident with 
crazy psycho bullshit. We'll do the tutorial so I can show you guys how the game works. And I'm just going to start, that. as you can see, I did like a little bit of testing before I started the stream today. But, uh, yeah. Let's get in there. And move you out of the way. Welcome to the Into the Radius tutorial. The hints will follow your hand. Try moving and make to make it easier to read them. Okay. Select movement direction. I'm going to take hybrid. Turning method smooth. You can adjust the settings in the menu. Press the right thumbstick to open it. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Turn. Okay, this is just controls. This is this is genuinely just controls. Cursed top left. What's in the top left? What on? What are you talking about? What? What? Like what's in the top left? The cursor? <laughs> no, thank you for telling me. I'd rather you tell me now than later. Thanks. It's just I can't move it unless I get up. Okay. It shouldn't move back anyway, so... Still there. How the, Did it just move back? No fucking way. Dude, I'm gonna have to unlink the two PCs. Dude, this is like a fu it's a barrage of stupid bullshit. Okay, if it moves back again, then I genuinely have to delink my two PCs from their setup. Did it move back again? It's gone now? Let me guess. Now it's back. Did that bring it back? It's still gone? Okay. We'll see. I think what's happening is that it's, uh, because my cursor is technically connected to my hand here. So it's like bringing it back sometimes, depending on where my hand is, but we'll see. Alright, let's fucking play the game. I look shorter than I am. I'm playing in sitting mode. So, uh, bear with me on that. <laughs> you can hear me. I kept trying to speak to others, but they couldn't, and... Hello? Ma'am? Crouch, manual control, bullshit. You know how it is. Tomato sit down gaming. Trust me, you want to play this game sitting. <laughs> Just trust me on that. Grab a knife. Alright. Press and hold the trigger to enable throwing mode so we can release to throw. <laughs> Easy. Grab another. <laughs> Okay, fuck. Jesus Christ! <laughs> One more. Eey. That counts. That counts. That that didn't it didn't count the number, but it counted. All right. Short, short, still short. Okay, hang on. Settings. I'm gonna make myself. Fine, I'll make myself taller. I'm more like 182. I feel like I'm kind of a 182 kind of guy. They're happy now. I'm like actually look about the same height. I don't think that changed anything. <laughs> I don't think that made me any taller at all. Yeah. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Hey, Katya. I'm not alone. Yeah. Yeah. The or oh, oops. The orb chat. Look. Look at it. In all of its beautiful splendor. The Dark Soul. <laughs> look, chat. The Dark Soul. We found it. It's the fucking Dark Soul. They were hiding Elden Ring here this whole time. I climbed the fence. Where is this here? The zone is filled with space time anomalies, often invisible and very dangerous. They can be revealed by throwing a probe. Pick up the probes from the box. All right, chat. Just like stalker style. Pull out a probe. You throw it at something and it says that spot right there was gonna kill you. And you go around it. Is the game audio fine right now, by the way? Cause this game gets pretty loud. I don't wanna bring it up too high. Whoa. All right, let's just go right through the middle here and not worry about whatever these things are. 
What is here? A sensor. Frequent beeping in the detector's green color means the artifact is nearby and you're going in the right direction. There's something over there. By God. Hang on. Get this stuff on my body. It's a blank. Two identical discs. Artifact that floats in parallel to each other that are impossible to separate. Or push closer to each other. Its energy remains unharvested. Yeah, well. Get that get that out of here. I'm not I, I mean, it's a tutorial, none of this is real. Y'all think those fucking zombies saw me? Those shadow monsters? Oh fuck, okay, we're running. We're just gonna go buy them. <laughs> you can equip one armor piece per your body and head slots. Long press B with your free hand to enter dressing mode. Take the bulletproof vest. Okay, put that on me. There we go. I got a vest on now. And now I can also put a hat on if I want. Uh, that probably shows a thing on top of your screen really miserably. So we don't really wear hats, uh, unfortunately, in uh, VR. But it shows the stats on my wrist. So I always know, oh, hey, I've got some armor on. It's also 9 o'clock. It's probably I have to, like, hold... Because this is where the blend is right here, chat, I'm guessing. Like, the blend's on this side, right? Like, you guys can see a blend here. I think when I use my watch, I'm gonna move it over to this eye so everyone can actually see it properly. It's okay, yeah, I know, but it's like, if I move it over to my right side, we don't have a blend. Wait, you're telling me you don't have a blend right now? Is it- oh, is it only one eye right now? I mean, is it still fine? Because, like, if we play with one eye, I can use the hats, and it won't be as miserable. Looks fine to me, personally. Okay, let's play with one eye for now, and just see if people are fine with that, because I think this game's okay with one eye, because it's fairly open, like, map-wise. It's not many narrow corridors, so it might be better, and then I can actually use the gas masks without feeling bad. I need, like, wear this nice hat. You might have noticed, you can place a lot of stuff in your hand and chest slots, okay? However, knives can only be placed on your hand slots. Try doing so. So I can put a knife... Wait, I, you... Oh, I'm in dressing mode still, that's why. I'm getting an artifact in here. Get rid of this thing, I don't want it. Snacks. Ugh. Soda. Ugh. Delicious, delicious soda. Flashlight. Some anomalies are sensitive to light. Use the flashlight to clear the way. I'm taking this off. This is like bothering me. Hang on. Get this off of me. He really ate the whole can. Yeah, well, that's just how it is. I don't know what to say. Where the hell's my flashlight? It's in my pouch. Look around this jet. Look at all these fucking anomalies, jet. You gotta be careful. Oh, there's actually a ground there. It's not just an abyss. Surely there's an option to hide helmets? No, there isn't. We got a gun here. I'll grab it, insert the mag. And the safety's on. I'm not using the sight right now. <laughs> if I was, you would have seen me kill those things. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, Alright, so uh, let's load up the magazine. This is the cool stuff, chat. Like this shit. Like, look at this. In order to load the magazine, we have to manually put the bullets in. Like a psycho. We can go one at a time, or we can technically put the magazine right next to it and load it a little bit faster. But we still have to do it per thing. Uh, I can put the ammo back in the pouch and load it back up. If this thing would fucking move and not snatch my mouse. Either way, we don't need that gun anymore. We're done playing with that one. 
Matter of fact, we're done playing with all these guns because it's all gun tutorials. We don't need them. This is my tutorial computer. Due to a period of inactivity longer than one year, your previous contract has been terminated. Oh no, my, I lost my job. I actually just lost my job, Chet. I'm sorry. I. This is going to take a lot for me to process. Uh, I have a mission. A sample courier. A, cur a container with important samples was lost in this area. Deliver it. Okay. Uh, the map on the wall shows the whole area. Mission and side mission cir areas are circled. Okay. The red arrow on the compass always points towards the sphere in the sky, the radius. This is your portable copy of the map. It's stored on your side slot. So this is where we are right now. The field map on the top of the ba has a backlight, tide meter, and tape recorder. Okay. And that's the tide meter. And that's a tape recorder. Got it. Well, let's look around for that sample then. Uh. Oh, where the fuck are the. Oh, there's stairs right there. Alright, we got ourselves a gun here. Go ahead and attach some stuff to it. To install attachments, you can examine your rifle. Okay. Uh, press and hold long, press B to go into dressing mode, and then I can attach whatever I want. Okay. Alright, I, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Silencer, good. Laser sight, good. Thing, good. And it's on safety and not even. Jesus, that's fucking loud. Okay, I've had enough of that. I'm done playing with that now. You can clean guns in this game. All you have to do is put the gun inside of a thing, grab the ramrod. Oh, this is a toothbrush. Sorry, ramrod's in here. <coughs> Grab the ramrod. Long press B for info on the ramrod. Use it to clean barrels. I, I know about how the ramrod works. Genuinely. I can press it with this to show the controls on how to do it better. There we go. Look, it's cleaning. If I wanted, I could grab this toilet paper and, uh, like, I don't know, squish them together. You can clean all these things, but you just gotta put them in, like, this thing first, and then do some stupid shit. I'm not very familiar with the cleaning, alright? But there's stuff you do. And then you can use a fucking toilet paper roll to clean off the gunk. It's easy, it all makes sense. I'm throwing these out, though. I mean, it doesn't matter, this is a tutorial, none of this matters. It don't matter. That's teaching you how to- Hear that noise? Get your map out. What's wrong? The noise comes from the tide meter gadget on top of it. Okay. Tide meter is the timer that tracks the tide, the global phenomenon that resets everything in the radius, monsters, artifacts, anomalies, etc. If you find yourself in the radius during the tide, don't panic. The tide won't kill you, but it will carry you to a random place on the map. The tide is not coming yet, don't worry. If the sound is getting on your nerves, feel free to press the button to turn the tide meter off. Okay. Got it. Uh, hello? I can't fucking see that person. I'm in the darkness. Um, I'm gonna go around that spooky kind of. <laughs> oh, but you're lost too. I've seen this before. You don't remember anything, do you? People here tend to forget things and wander around confused. Loot box. No, no, shut up, loot box. It just spawned a gun for me. You need to make sure you it's seven six two FMJ. Loaded already. Now this is gonna get us somewhere. Oh no. Hello? That thing warbled. We gotta get out of here. Chad, we're getting the hell out of here. That thing shouldn't be warbling right now. We don't want to be near anything that's warbling. You understand me? Rule one. I, I want to see if I can do this with one hand. I totally can. Ow! Fuck. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can throw myself up on top of this thing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna climb it like a normal person. Ahead is the mission goal. You can find the details on your portable map. Okay. Just gotta get through these fucking animals first. Get your gun ready, load the mag, and switch to automatic. Okay. I, I know how to use guns. Loads of ammo in case you miss 5,000 times. 
That is such a loud sound. That sound is like a jump scare. See that core in the middle? We have to kill that to actually kill the thing. We've been just aiming well, which is why we haven't had to do it much. Alright. Let's get out of here. Come on. We got a, we got a world to save. There's something. I don't know. See you later. Oh shit. Okay, I got it. So I hope it's like visually okay to watch right now. Um, wasting a perfectly good magazine. Hey Chad, it's a tutorial and we don't get to take any of the stuff with us. I hate to break it to you, but we don't, uh, we don't get any of this. So we're leaving. Oh, this is my objective. Grab it. Alright, this is the thing we got that quest for. So now we can go inside this scary train. And go deliver it. With the delivery thing. We put it in. And that's the quest card. Now they pay us $400, which don't really exist because this is a tutorial. Over here is the store screen. We don't care about it. I'll teach you how to use the store. So we're done. Locations inside the radius are wrapped in a thick fog, so it's easy to get lost. See that string? It'll guide you through the frog. Some paths will... Frog? <laughs> fog. It will guide you through the fog. Some paths will lead you to new locations. Others will bring you home. Good luck, Explorer 61. You have completed your onboarding objective. Go into the fog. See what's out there. Your memories will guide you. Now that we've made this... I don't like the, I don't like the fucking look of that one. Find you anywhere. <laughs> and when you're ready... <laughs> Come find me, the real me. Huh? Who are you? Hi. H hello. I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. So, chat. Basically, how it works is, if you don't go out of the map following these ropes, you will uh, be teleported to another spot in the map, outskirts. Basically, you can't leave unless you're at a part of the map with these ropes leaving it, because you can't find your way through the frogs. Pro like frogs. Now I'm seeing chat and I'm like, frogs, you can't find your way through the frogs properly, alright? Without it, you can't, you just can't. Hey, hey guys, it's me. Stop. Authorized personnel only. Raise your hands above your head for identification. Okay, one second, I'm just gonna turn you down because you're just fucking loud. Hi. Greetings, Explorer. This message is to remind you that you are the UNPSC field officer aiding our research of the Pechorsk radius anomaly. Congratulations on your contract extension. Your security level has been reset to zero what? due to long-term I'm absence. fucking- what? Please proceed to your room and continue the mission. They just- they just we pinned me to just shotguns. <laughs> welcome- welcome to your new home. I know that you were an established explorer up until now, but we've taken away all of your clearance and now all you can equip is shotguns and PMs. Whatever, at least I still have all this soda. Okay, let's put this on my body, turn it off, get this stuff in my- So this is my backpack, it's all simulated, and it's how we carry stuff. So if I have food I want, bada bing, put it in my backpack. Like, uh, it's just like Walking Dead basically, but you have to actually manage it in this game. And this is chat. This is what I do. It's home sweet home, baby. Get excited. This is. It's not opening. Uh, place your bracelet near the panel. Okay. We're in. Welcome to home sweet home, chat. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my lovely abode. We have a. Uh, canned food. To enjoy local delicacies, put a can in your hand. Take the ring pole. On the can with trigger. Pull to open. Take a knife with your free hand. Eat the, with the knife from the can like a real warrior. <laughs> Just like a real warrior. How they? I don't even own a knife. Just like a real warrior. Just like they did it in the old days, Chet. Well, this is wasted now. I didn't even need to eat. Just put this in my bag. That'll be leftovers for, like, the journey. What the hell is this? Someone threw darts on the wall. Uh, I need a place to stash weapons. Fuck. <laughs> Any knives that I have that are spare, that I'm not using, will go in that wall. Like this one. Actually, I am gonna use that knife. This is gonna be my fighting knife. Get that on my hand. 
Journal, all cassettes, notes with clues and secret stashes are stored in the journal. I need a place to store, uh, get rid of all my papers. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> but does that work for getting rid of papers? Yes. Great. That's good. That wasn't even- I didn't even know that was in the game until right now. <laughs> you get a lot of papers and stuff. Alright, I gotta do some- before I even go on quest chat, I need to do some inventory management. This is a lot of inventory management this game. So I need to be... Sort of careful. What I stash and what I don't stash. First of all, uh, magazines. Uh, we got two magazines. One- both full. And did I get a PM at the start? I did. Uh, we got an energy drink. We'll stow that over there. We got one healing thing. We got food. We got a spare knife. We do not need a spare knife. Fucking Christ. This is a... Oh, Jesus. Leave that over there. We have a gun that's absolutely going to break. Uh, this is actually gross, this fucking gun. So we're gonna sell this. We got a whole box of ammo. We're gonna put that in our ammo pouch. So I can grab it if I need it. Did this come with a mag and it's full? Okay, good. Keep that in there then. And it's already got a bullet in the, uh, mag. Or whatever. There's a bunch of stuff we're gonna sell, but we got food. We actually don't need this much food, so we'll leave some on the shelf. We got spare extra FMJ, so we'll also keep that in my pouch for, like, fighting. Got the paper I gotta burn. Oh my god, we got a lot of papers I need to burn. Just squish them in there. <laughs> Just squish them in. I don't care. Get them out of the way. Another medical kit. Those are so important. The medical stuff is so important. You got another thing about physical needs. Hunger, food, fatigue. You have to worry about stuff like that. And you have to sleep in the game. The classics. Everything that you know. Another artifact detection kit. We'll keep a spare so if I lose one on the job, we won't be fucked. And, uh... Yeah, welcome to Home Sweet Home Chat. Welcome to the welcome to the Radius Research Facility. We got everything you could possibly want. Anything you could ever need. We got bot. <laughs> we got fungus. We got air fungus. We got fungus. I just bre I breathe that in. I'm gonna die, but we got it. We got dust, and we got missions. We got everything a person could need. So we got a mission here. Explorer 61, the UNPSC are hoping for the successful cooperation in terms of our free will missions program for the residents of the PSC. Your first mission is to locate the atypical radiation source. The task may require using a gun. Okay, I just have to go find some radiation in the map. Uh, this is currently the map. Uh, as you can see, there are arrows that go to different areas. Um, but we're in a pretty small sort of like microcosm of the main map. It wants us to leave. Uh, we're not gonna leave just yet. We're gonna do some stuff. We're gonna take care of some things. Sorry, I'm trying to like scratch my face. They actually added a really good system where you can heal parts of your body if you're hurt here. I don't remember that being in the game before. I remember you just being kind of miserable. Now you can actually fix, fix yourself up in the game, which is nice. So I have $300 and all I'm going to do with that money is buy another magazine for my gun, which is a 918. So I was gonna buy another PM magazine because I want, I want a third one so that I have something if shit goes like awry, you know what I mean? If shit goes wrong, I wanna have a magazine, uh, extra. All right, chat. This is an easy job. I don't know what time it is. Uh, it is fucking noon. It takes about two hours to get to the zone. When we get there, we have an easy objective that's not really going to be much of a challenge at all for us. I'm a trained profession. Okay? That's me. Okay? I'm that guy. I'm the trained professional. All we have to do is follow this rope and we're gonna get there. And then we're gonna get what we came for. Look at how much faster the map- Remember back when I played it before, it would take like 20 minutes for the map to load? They downscaled the map, the map sizes and segmented them, and it was the best decision they ever fucking made. Uh, because now you can actually play the game. <laughs> Here we are. In the zone. Let's get up there and take a look around. Figure out what the hell we're doing here, today. I actually don't like climbing in this game, but uh, I'll bear with it. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, fuck. Let's just get up. Okay. So what the hell is that over there? Check the map. Right now, we just came in there. We're probably right about there. Our objective is that red circle there. As you can see, if I zoom it in, we're going for the far side of that fence. And when we get there, we're going to be looking for a radiation source. Easy peasy. Let's check what's in this box, though. Oh, another PM I should have sold the first one. Hello? If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement. Yep. Disorientation. Yep. Memory loss. Yep. Ataxia. Yep. And visual auditory hallucinations. Yep. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorisk radius. All of them. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit. Wow. Well, get you to the nearest research. <laughs> Hazelnut. Enter the fog to find Thanks. It. Chat's like, LOL, dude, he got two more mags. He wasted money. Chat, LOL to you, dude. Look at the quality of this fucking magazine. It's so bad you can't even look at the quality anymore. This thing's broken. Like, you can tell by the visuals of it. Like, compare these. You genuine, it's, it's broken. Like, you try to use this thing, it's going to break your gun. This is something we sell. But before we sell it, we're going to take the ammo out of it. Like so. Oops, I did that the wrong way. Uh, we need to do it the other way around. Actually, it's probably easier to do it like that. Put it all on the... Take it all onto the ground and then put it all in together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These need plenty of ammo, chat. And we got another 11. Which means I really should have just merged these two boxes. It's fine. We'll do it now. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Trash. And, uh, put that back in the pouch. We got plenty of ammo for this job. All right, chat. We know where we're going. All we have to do is go. Oh my god. I almost fucked up. Oh, Jesus Christ! There's a fucking guy! There's a guy with a gun! There's a guy! Hello? Oh, fucking Jesus, this is not how you're supposed to start the game. Fuck, fucking guy. Fucking shadow man. This fucking guy's running at me and burning all my ammo. I'm, like, scared of him. Jesus Christ! Who the fuck was that? My ammo! I got shot once. They usually don't attack you that early. Uh, I spent- I, I, a bunch of bullets like fell on the ground too. Now I gotta reload my mags. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> usually you don't have a patrolling mimic. Uh, this early in. There you go. Well, we'll get rid of a box early, which is cool, I guess. That never happens. I've never had that happen before. Ever. That scared- that startled me. That- That was not- I was not expecting that. Did they drop anything? What the hell's this? Oh, that's the, that's the box I littered. Maybe he saw me littering. Hello? Shadow Man? I don't like this. Let's just get the hell out of here. Whatever the hell happened there, I don't want to know. Maybe it was the ghost of this guy whose face exploded. 
I just don't like that orb, chat. There's something off about that fucking orb. Something's wrong with that orb. Oh, what's this? A flare. I'm not gonna use this. I'm just gonna put that away. Mother of God. What the hell happened to you? Uh. Get lost. Go on a minute! I swear to God, I will shoot you! I don't want to spend bullets on the cores. Just swap this for now and try reloading it as we move. What's that sound I'm hearing? Okay. A couple of these, like, weird. These guys are basically harmless, they're nothing. We can take them down, no problem. We just don't want to be- hang on, what- who the hell is this? Hello? What's that darn him again? Just got the new coil installed, should work alright. Now oh, we got a couple of these shadow men. Uh, where did the key go? Alright. Let's load up another mag and just take this easy. Hello? The radiation source is somewhere inside this camp. Quiet. Real fucking quiet. What is this? Cigarettes. Hello? Anyone there? I'll read that book once I'm done finding this radiation source I was talking about. I'm hearing dings on my radiation thing. I'm gonna shoot that, I think. It dropped something. What the fuck is this? A shard. We'll take that with us back. But I don't think it's what we wanted. Atom. It's- guys, it's a really upscaled atom! Oh my god, the doctors back at the base are gonna love this! More like shart! <laughs> More like shit! You guys have been acting real funny lately, and it's kind of pissing me the hell off. Alright, so how about you watch it before I do something you're gonna regret. And more medical supplies. I need to organize my backpack after this. All right, how about you watch it before I get up? Before you know it, before I... Bah! Oh my god, that could have bounced and killed me. Let's take it for now in case someone, like, comes at me. Ooh. A, cig a cigarette. That's actually a shotgun shell. We'll just take that with us. There's some- what the hell's that up there? The body. Like, up there? That was not a good throw. I'm not even sure why I'm bothering with the throws. That guy sees me, but I don't think he can get up here. Hey? Thanks for the fucking pineapple, idiot. Stupid moron. Bullet. For my gun. We'll be taking that. UAZ died in the middle of the road just before the motor depot depot by the Pervame route. Had to get out of there fast and left the ammo in a hurry. Gotta come back and fetch it. 
probably over there by the road. Is that Kachi? Is that the ghost girl? I'm guessing one of these two spots is the motor depot, but we're not going over there. There's no fucking way. Not with my gear. Not with a pistol. Just get the fuck out of here. Let's leave. We're leaving, Jet. We're getting the fuck out, and I'm gonna turn on my fucking AC because I'm already starting to melt under these conditions. I can't live like this. Okay? I can't. That looks good, though. That This shot right here looks great. It reminds me of the, it reminds me of, like, stalker promotional stuff from, like, the same kind of images. With, like, the orb. The orb is spooky, dude. Let's go. We're going back to the rope. And then I'm gonna take my headset off for a second so I can get the AC running before I start sweating. Because I'm feeling sweating starting to happen. Okay, while we're moving, I'm gonna go turn on the AC. One sec. Give me one, just give me one sec. Uh, oh my god. But yeah, pretty cool game, huh? My my arms! My arms! My oh. It's uh a pretty fucking impressive VR game now compared to what it was last time we played it, chat. Hey. Get out of the way. You're embarrassing me in front of the gun. Fucking little goblins. Well, we know what we gotta do, chat. We gotta deliver that fucking thing I got. <laughs> Delivery. Get a delivers. What the fuck? I didn't take this. The first expedition. The light keeps going out all day. There was an outage at the power station. Someone broke inside and destroyed the hardware. They didn't touch the locks, though, which is kind of weird. And they stole this. A coil, was it? Mum's been- Mum's being grumpy. Because her debt at the factory stalled. Okay. Need to get a candle now. A Daughter of the Snow is a page-turner. I'm reading a book. I don't read books because they're factually inaccurate. Uh... Alright. And they're gonna pay me $1,200 for that. No problem. Let's also sell some things while we're here, because we got a bunch of stuff to sell. Like this shard, which sells for $250. Uh, we're gonna keep that. I'm gonna hang on to the flare, because those are really helpful at night. We're gonna sell these shitty magazines that are completely broken for like $10 each or $5. Extra guns that are also basically worthless. Get in there. You and you. Okay. Hope you can't hear my uh, AC, but I genuinely do need it or I'm going to die playing this game. I kind of don't think a grenade is ever going to actually be helpful, chat. And I'm telling you that genuinely. I don't think I'm ever going to throw it. Ever. So I'm just going to sell it for money. Because that'll make me $1,700. Which means I will have uh, plenty to buy a shotgun, which will be a good start. $500 for a shotgun and then ammo. Sounds good to me. We just want a shotgun. So, shotgun. And let's also buy five shells per. So we'll buy 15 shells for $830. Half of my funds. Oh, yeah. Let's load this thing up. Alright, that's a, now a worthless box. And again. Wait, come on. There we go. Get those in. Alright. And then these two are spare, so we'll put them in my pouch of emergency. Why is this in here? This. We'll hang on to those cigarettes. Those can be used for like stress situations. Oh, we actually have a spare shell. Uh, we're gonna put that in this one. Actually, let's move the smaller box in here so we're not like getting all rum like rummaging around the whole time. All right, so we got a shotgun. This will this is a good emergency uh, kill whatever the fuck is after me weapon. 
And it doesn't require any weird loading or pumping or bullshit. Has someone been in my room? Missions. Total recall. According to the sample analysis, your previous mission has been completed. Your results will be considered for further equipment distribution. Your next assignment, find the photo film in the marked area and deliver it to the facility. Okay, so they want me to go into the middle of the map now and go right into a big facility. Uh, okay. That means we're gonna pack more medical supplies. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm not going in there. One guy already shot at me. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, my guns don't have good sights. I can't shoot back very well. So we're going to spend our last, like, thousand dollars on survival gear and things to help me, uh, get out of there. Oh, first I have to sell this thing. Okay. We're going to buy another three healing injectors. Trust me. Just trust me, okay? And then we're going to buy a, uh... Honestly, what I'm thinking I'm going to buy is actually a lighter. Okay. I know this looks like overkill, but trust me, okay? I have a spare flashlight. We're going to get rid of that. Take the lighter. Nice. All this other stuff I genuinely believe I need. Saw that flashlight. Okay. What do cigarettes even do for you in this game? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? God, that's so fucking... <laughs> Wait, there's only three in this box! Sir? Excuse me! Sir? You know how it is, Strat. In this hell of a world. Sun setting. And that fucking thing just keeps getting bigger. Cool. God, smoking's fucking. <coughs> God, I'm fucking cool. Hey, chat. <laughs> let me get one for you, chat. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me. You guys can't even see chat. I, I bet. Can you guys even see chat? I don't know if I, what display you're even on. Like, honestly, I can't believe you can even see the game right now. Hey, chat. Let me, let me get you one, chat. <laughs> We're not going out there at night. There's no way in a million years I'm going out there at night. We'll go out during the day. I'm gonna eat this thing. I, I, I don't let any of it go to waste, okay? What time is it right now? 1900 hours. We wake up at we wake up at a smooth 9 a.m. Now let's finish my leftover beef that's been open for the last two days. I'm not. Because I'm definitely hungry. No, no, no. And there's still even more left over. We're not even halfway through that fucking can. You know, that beef lasts forever. Alright, uh, there's one last thing I want to do before we go, chat. And it's heal at the old machine. Right here. I'm just gonna heal myself up. Cause, uh, I'm half dead. Genuinely. There we go. I'm gonna restore my tiny bit of fatigue. Alright, chap. Uh, let me just make sure I'm, all these mags are mostly empty. We might want to buy another box of, uh, FMJ before we go. That one's full. That one's full. Do I have more FMJ? I do not. And this should be in here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna buy another box of FMJ if we have enough ammo. Well, money. I don't trust myself to not get fucking owned. Do I have enough? I have just enough. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. This needs more in it already. There. We're going out there, we're gonna get that fucking film they asked for, even if it fucking kills me, which it might, because I died doing this level during tests, is when I stopped playing. So we're gonna take this really slow and really careful, okay? Safety's off, motherfuckers. Safety's fucking off. I never turn the safety on. Ever. Because when I turn it on, I forget about it. Alright. We know where we are going. Restarted right. We are right here. I vote we hug this cliffside all the way to the back entrance of the damn place and we slip in. Because I can tell you one thing about this map. Those fucking wa guys with the guns are crawling all over the fucking middle of this area. Alright? And there's a place I can sleep right there. If stuff gets spicy. We can vote? No, you can't. I'm going this way. All you can do is hope I don't fucking die. Safety's on. Safety's off now. Okay, perfect. We're gonna take it slow and easy. Alright? There's no second chances. You die, you lose it all. You die, you lose everything you've ever had. Until I reload the game because the game auto saves. Now the question is, can I actually hug this wall? Or is this gonna kind of do some freaking bullshit? Let's see. We're going around it. And now we're not going to be seen by any guys with guns. Because we're taking the scenic route. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, Jet. Until we run out of these things, which are a finite resource. <laughs> yes. God, this game's fucking good. It, it, it genuinely is stalker VR. Like, it, it's what it is. And it's great. It's for for what it's trying to be, it is really good. Wait, screws are finite? These are absolutely finite. Can you not pick them up? No, they're dirty now. Just trying to make sure I don't see any monsters. Trying to hug this wall as best we can. I'm hearing footsteps. I think something's sneaking up on me. That's our destination. Right there. And that is not our destination. Can I climb this? No. Alright, let's do this quietly and stealthily for now. I don't want to get close to this place without getting fucking shot. Remember, we want to try to sneak in. We don't really want to cause a scene. This building right here. One of them. Actually, which one is it, though? Because that's definitely the place. Those are the two hangers. Alright, we want the building past these hangers. We can kind of see it. It's in, like, the corner of the building past the hangers. Okay, are there any psychos with guns? That guy sees me. Fuck, everyone's gonna hear this. I don't trust knifing. It 
see if anyone moves to me. Quiet. Way too freaking quiet. Alright, chat, we're gonna load our gun up with more ammo. Okay. Let's do this. We're going in. Oh, Jesus! Fuck! The guy did see me. God damn it. I, get, I had a feeling that someone would see me. He's right there. Can't see him through the fucking tree. Just leave the fucking max here. He's a fast boy. Son of a bitch. Game auto saved me. I don't know where the guy is. There he is. There's two of them now. Whoa! I shot it over my shoulder by accident. Pistol's basically worthless garbage. Yeah, I definitely hit him. I think I just try to finish him off with these. How hit am I? I? Got one tiny hit on me. Okay. We took care of it. Unless there's more. I hope there's not more. Those guys could those guys hear you shoot things. That's why we need a silencer. We need a we need a pistol that's silenced. Uh to deal with them. Oh, my gun's also starting to get worn down. Look at that. I'm getting, like, rest on it. Okay. We are going to quietly backtrack to this rock. Where hopefully less people will be wandering to me. We're gonna crouch. And quickly empty our gun. And we're gonna load my fucking magazines quick. With whatever we have. Because there's definitely enemies in that place. And it was good that we packed extra. This place is a fucking miserable piece of shit land, Chad. And we're gonna conquer it. We are. We're gonna take this whole place down. And then we're gonna make a lot of money. How is the quality on this thing? It's not that bad. Alright. Am I detecting anything on this thing? I'd be hearing dings. Well, I don't really want to go through that way because there were already guys sensing me there. I see a back entrance I can take over there. We're going to go for that. Let's try to get to a wall quickly. But yeah, the shotgun was a good buy. I say, scratching my face with an uns unsafety fucking pistol. By accident. We got one zombie. I'm gonna check around the back. Okay. I feel relatively okay shooting this guy. I need to start holding A to drop it properly instead of just eject it onto the ground. Let's go. Let me check the quality on this. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ! How's the other one? Fuck off! Cool it! Fuck! That thing's alive and just looking at me. Stop it! Disgusting freaks! Disgusting monsters! Horrible beings! Get in here. Why does it look like I can climb that to get something on this roof? We'll check it out once we've gotten what we came for. Not a moment before. Hello? Anyone? Oh, it's a ghost.
Hang on, this is, this is an anomaly, but I can pass through it if I'm quick. Just trying to see if there's any, like, items back here. No, can't open that. There is something. What the hell is that? A weather monitor. Valuable equipment left behind by some either reckless or unfortunate explorer. The UNPSC will pay a lot of money for this. Okay. Sounds good to me. I don't want these in these hands. Swap these. Okay. Actually, let's hold it this way. It's easier for me to do this in this hand. Well, that was worth going in here for- OW! OW! I didn't get rid of enough of it and then it hurt me. That scared me. I should probably use a healing vein. Now. I should probably just hit myself with a syringe. What's up? My father was a truck driver. He'd be away for long time. I'm looking around for the person who asked. Slash looks for the person who asked. But it was right around his birthday. <sighs> we still had unfinished cases. Who asked? <laughs> Askers? Anyone asking? He taught me to drive when I was very young. We had a lot Let's of go. fun. My father was the silent type and didn't spend much time. I'm being mean. I actually am sort of intrigued by the story in this game. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Though we didn't know when or how I'd get a car of my own. I was really looking forward to that day. <sighs> the freedom. And what do I have to look forward to now? Beef! Cans of beef, Katya! Don't you understand? We didn't have everything we could possibly need, Katya! <sighs> Oh, oh my god. Katja, you'd never understand the how much there's to look forward to in this world. Katja, beef! You don't understand how much there is in this world to treasure when you have so little, when you are constantly being killed all the time. Beef, Katja. The answer was beef. Let's get out of here. All right, so what we're looking for is in that building, so we're gonna check this other hangar first. Actually, I kinda wanna try to get on the roof of that thing. Wasn't there an anomaly right here? Hold up. Hold up. Really? Nothing? Okay. Nothing's up here, which makes this just a way for an enemy to shoot me easy. Okay, let's get back downstairs. <laughs> if there's no loot up there, it is just a place for an enemy to see me and then gun me down. Let's go. Wait, I always grab- I always do it on the wrong hands. There we go. Uh, we're gonna get- you know what, let's get the film before we fuck around with any more shit. Uh, in case one of those fucking gun guys shows up again. It's in this building. Hello? Hello? Man? What the? Huh? Where's the, the film that was here just now? Need to develop it while... I hear someone walking towards me. Do you guys hear that? Caught you'll hate me if you don't bring it back. Shut up! I can't listen to the lore anymore. There's someone outside. What the fuck did I just hear? Oh my... Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! Alright, let's get back in that room. Oh, Jesus, this fucking game. I'm hearing lower footsteps. Whenever you touch one of these guys, it like activates a bunch of sound effects. Nothing. 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 Alright, we're going over there. You ruined his smoke break. Well, he ruined my life. I'm trying to fix my mic. Okay. Okay, what's over here? We got any, we got the film? Filming? Oh. A VHS tape. That's enough of that. VHS? Yeah, it's a compact VHS, don't you guys know? Idiots. You don't understand anything about anything. 
That's why it's like impossible to like do anything with you. Hello? Oh no. It's a window! You can't fucking Fucking lucky I can't reach you from here. I'm pushing through the next spot. These windows are barred, okay? Good fucking luck. We just gotta find the film and get the fuck out of here before that slug thing gets to me, before that big spider eats my face off. Let's just find- I can't look for more- Beef! More beef. More valuable than gold. Keep moving. Anything? Nothing in those? Stop, idiot. Yeah, that's right. I'm only here for your film. <laughs> there it is, Jet. Exactly what we came for. Film. This is the stuff. Get that in my bag, and now all you have to do is AVAC. Extract. Alright? Easier said than done. Oh my god, all these ha could have stuff in them. And they can. They actually can. What the hell? I broke that one. Alright, I'm not gonna touch that box anymore. I'm afraid it might explode. Yo! No fucking way! It's still good, it's clean. This is gonna be made- this is an anomaly. We've officially found an anomaly. Whoa. The anomalous fucking drawer. We gotta go. I don't need another lighter. Though I can sell it. Ah! It actually got it! It's in the house! I had to left hand it. <laughs> it's dead now, baby. What else is this thing? Another one of those weather things. Lovely. That's a lot of money. I'm worth exploring for. Ah, at last. You know, I really got to defuse after what just happened. I'll sit down on the bed. And actually, I'll just sort of crouch right here. He's actually shaking. No, it's because uh, the VR doesn't have any kind of fucking uh, stabilization for like hand detection. So whenever anyone plays VR, it looks like they're shaking like crazy. Oh, I can't even do it without lighting it first. Hey, kickback. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's in my nose! <laughs> there we go. There it is. This is the life. And now we just toss it on the ground in this old. One last room to check. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello there? Strange bathroom, ham. Let's get out of this building. No. Wait, there's actually... No, we already checked that one. Okay. Let's leave. Oh, no, I'm hearing those footprints again because I fucking touched the guy. He's checking all the drawers again. I'm going to wait for them to finish doing this before I leave. We have one more hangar to check, so uh, I'm going to get that taken care of. Before we go. And then we're gonna go back the way we came. Oh, fuck. Right, let's do this quick. The enemies are onto me. They know I'm here. Uh, empty. Completely empty. Alright, we're leaving. Ow? Oh, there was an invisible, extremely small bit of that fucking grass. 
We're gonna leave the way we came, and we are not going to uh, spend a single second. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna take another one of these. Get this, dude! I... Fuck off! I'm not wasting any bullets on this guy. No way. Bullets are very finite. Even now that they're more available, I don't really want to spend bullets on a guy I can easily outrun. Let's go. Let's get my stamina back. And go back the exact way we came. We did it, Chad. We got exactly what we came for. Only took a little bit of damage. We use a lot of medical supplies, but I'm trying to be rather I'm trying to be safe. I don't really want to lie, like, die. Make sure no one's following me, aside from that fucking guy. He'll probably follow me all the way to the exit, but I'll outpace him. We're getting high on weight, which is why we're, like, moving slower. And stamina's more of a problem. But, hey, all we have to do is get back to that tower and we're home free. We handled all those threats, actually, pretty well. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have much of a problem beating this game. <laughs> My stamina coming back? Yeah, it's just incredibly slow. Yeah, we should walk the rest of this. Uh, I actually don't remember if it's safe to go this way. I'm going to use the pods. Okay. I definitely know all I have to do to get past this is hug the wall, though. I remember that. All this, while it's fucking terrible. Oh, by the way, if those hit me, they would instantly kill me. I would die. Oh, and it wasn't safe. There was that the whole time. That's good. Uh, well, we can hug this wall and be okay. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on, chat. We're leaving. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Don't go. Don't look at the giant cube. What time is it? Oh, hello, sir. See you later, and by later I mean never, because I'm never coming back, ever. Goodbye. We follow the rope. Okay. Hey. Oh my God! What just? What the fuck just fell? Something fell in my house. It scared me. Must have been nothing. So this trash. I can't close things, dude. I can only gently try to guide them to to, to closing, but I can't actually like physically close items. Hang on, I'm gonna put some of my- oh, I got another letter. Total recall. Is someone trying to mess things up? Because we can't all be losing our mind. Lena's cat's missing. Samantha so can't find her glasses. Everyone I know lost something today. My precious Kodak roll that Uncle Dima got me from Japan is gone too. Dad put it in his desk at the depot office and never saw it again. All the family photos I took are gone! Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't care, not my problem. I don't care. I got a bunch of fucking cans of food to put on this shelf. These are both open. These are not. Put those in there. Toilet paper for toilet emergencies. Toothbrush for hygiene. Two crazy weather things. Lighter for my for my horrible horrible vices. And this is what we need to deliver. <sighs> Oh my god. Sun setting. Better get this job done before they yell at me. One film reel. Coming up. Security level two! There it is, Jet! We're officially security level two again. And we're about to get paid $2,000. There it is, dude. There it is. Fuck yeah, dude. That's how it works. Oh, we can get a headlamp now. That'd be good. We couldn't get that before. Headlamp would be a nice thing. You know, it'd also be nice getting a gas mask for 1200 
It would also be nice. A suppressor. Uh, suppressors for pistols. Super handy. Repairs. Viable. Possible via the box only. Problem is we need to find a pistol that uses it because the PM does not use it. So we'd probably need a G17 to uh, actually use a silencer or an M9. It's hard to tell until you've bought the silent, like the pistol, uh, to actually be able to tell what you can and can't attach something to. Uh, flare is going to be useful for when I want to do something stupid. So let's sell these two things for four hundred dollars. Fuck yeah. How much money do I have? Twenty-four hundred dollars. A better pistol would be good, because this PM is a miserable, miserable excuse for a gun. And so would a gas mask. This early in the game, a gas mask would be really nice. Just to have on hand. Because it will... If we get sent into an area, that would... It would be good to have one just in case. What time is it? Late. Dude, imagine going into this fucking shithole at night. Yeah, right, dude. No way in a million fucking years. What do we got on the missions? Okay, we have a lot of missions now. It just opened up for us quite a bit. But all of it is still the Pervame route, which is where we're starting. Radius Treasure, 61. We're presuming on your fidelity. Uh, we have registered abnormal radiation and large ab... Uh, anomaly clusters, which is uh, that horrible, horrible shithole house that we saw that was all green. I don't think I'm going there. What's a metastasis one? Possess significant knowledge of rifts, find the special rift, destroy it, and bring back the broken shard. Okay, so rifts is what we killed last time. Uh, that would be in an even more miserable place that I'm scared to go to uh, without a better gun. In and out, a new artifact inside anomaly cluster. Oh, that one's an easy peasy. We're going to take in and out and just get like 400 free bucks to buy ammo and stuff. Intel, use protective gear. Okay, it wants me to use protection on this mission. That's fine. We're going to buy a gas mask in a minute. We're going to buy a gas mask, and we're going to buy some basic supplies so that we don't have to, like, worry about horrible bullshit. Although, be prepared, chat. The gas mask uh, obscures my vision as much as it obscures yours. So, uh, get ready. Hang on, I'm gonna check something on my uh, uh, stream for a second. Give me one sec. Give me a second. Sorry, I just need to make sure something was working. Ugh. Yeah, it's not great. So obviously gas mask is something I would only be using very quickly. Uh, it's not something we wear. 24-7. It's something that I would be putting on uh, specifically to take care of something as fast as possible, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of... I'm, I'm just as fucking choked as you are. It's pretty bad on my end, but that's kind of the point of it. Uh, okay. It's worth having. It's good to have. Uh, what's also good to have is uh, another healing injection, for starters. We still have twelve hundred dollars. Uh, fuck, a pistol scope would be so good, but we our pistol doesn't like work with anything. We need a better pistol. We want another injector. Like we always want to have at least three health kits on us at once. Uh, we have plenty of shotgun ammo still. I think I need to buy another box of uh this. Just in case. I think I need another box of 19 by 18. Or 9 by 18, I don't know. Just in case. Yeah, these were almost out. Wait there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, worth it. Worth it. You know, Chad, eventually pistols and guns jam, which is really fun. Uh, with the last $800 I have, I'm gonna buy a headlamp. This won't obscure our vision. And will free up my, uh, yeah, there we go. Take a look at this. 
Bada bing. No more, no more fucking flashlights. Never I want. No problem. That's the good good. Now we can work. Which means I don't need to carry this around anymore. But we still want it. We still want spares. So we're not going to sell them. Just yet. Leave these in the flashlight bin. Now here's the thing, chat. I will never use a fucking... I will never willingly go on a night mission. But I'm going to show you what a flare does since they're cheap, like, dirt. Just so you always know. It's very powerful for like visualizing at night. The mouse is back. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Love the mouse. Love that mouse, dude. Love the mouse. Best character. Best character of 2020, 21 tomato gaming, dude. One of my favorites, bro. <laughs> Love the mouse. Should be gone now. But yeah. The flare is, uh, really the best way to function at night if you're going out at night. Now, I wouldn't recommend you go out at night. But, ooh, spare knives! Free knives, dude! Actually, this spe this knife I have here is probably about to break. Halfway done. We do want one spare knife. Yeah, there it goes. We're going to sleep, though. We need Our character needs to sleep. We'll keep one spare knife in here. What the? How the hell did I? I also need to eat. <laughs> I also technically need to eat. We're going to sleep. We're going to wake up at dawn. 8 a.m. And then we'll go get that mission done. God, this game's fucking good, though, isn't it? Like, think back at even, like, the version we played, like, a year ago. They've improved it so much. Like, it is a totally different fucking beast now than it used to be. It's like genuinely like a comp unbelievable how much they improved in the game. What the hell's all this? Oh, attachment categories. Can I grab any of these tools? No. All right, so we know what we're doing. Okay. We are going out there to pick up a neon artifact from a little little pocket near the spawn. How's the motion sickness? Totally fine. I haven't had any motion sickness problems unless I'm being hit by an anomaly and sort of the point of them is that you're getting motion sick. Like, that's the only time I have any problems. So we're basically going right up this hill. Like, where you're seeing those sparks is where I think our objective actually is. Yeah. Right up the hill. There's a fucking monster right there. Yep. <sighs> Alright, let's go. The headlamp is the best purchase you'll ever make in the game, by the way. Like, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Alright. So I believe we're going to that log over there. Whoa! That's a double anomaly! Alright, chat. We're gonna have to put this on for a minute. Fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. This'll protect me if something bad happens. Jesus, I made a big mistake. I made a rippling effect. It's fine. Can I squeeze this? It's on the other side of these logs and I can't clear it. It's genuinely, like, right there. It's right there. Fuck you. God 
Damn it, I can't climb this. I have to backtrack. We gotta go around the- ah! I'm fine. But we gotta go around more. It's because I'm wearing this gas mask, you see. It's protect- Ah! It's protecting me from some of the damage. Which is making it possible for me to sort of push through this a little bit faster. Okay, we go this way. That's my fucking eye. That's my item. Understand? That's my item. Give it to me. Give it to me. Steps. I don't know if that's what I needed. It wasn't. Fuck. The other item I need is still here. It's right here. There we go. This is what I was after. This is the prime premium jewel. Right? What I came for? We got it. We just have to get out. Can I jump right off this ledge? Alright, helmet off. Helmet off. Dash it. Down the ledge. Take a little bit of fall damage, but it's worth it. Alright, let's go. Easy peasy, easy e piece of cake. Easy. Easy. Easy, Chad, easy. Easy. Made four hundred dollars. What the fuck is this? Oh. <laughs> it's still the one from last time. <laughs> it's still the box. From before. They respawn, everything resets when a tide happens. So nothing's reset yet, like loot-wise. Hey, gun. Either way, we got two artifacts and that's stuff to sell. I'm kind of hungry. This is my eating knife. Mmm. Mmm. Num num. Really good. Really good snacks. I love these. I'm also gonna use a... I'm going to restore all my health. While I'm here. Because it's cheaper than using a syringe. Uh, we're delivering the circle one, not the spiky one. Spiky one I'm gonna sell. Alright. Bada bing. Easy. Now, how much does this one sell for? Two hundred dollars! Alright. That leaves me nine hundred. That leaves me with a thousand dollars, Jet. We could probably start investing in a better pistol soon. Not yet, but soon. What time is it? Ten a.m. We got time to do another quest. Genuinely. Although it's going to be getting dark midway through. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck is this? Regen. Oh, this heals you if you rub it on your body. But um, I don't want it. Because uh, I have uh, I have stuff I've already bought for that, and this is de it's actually deteriorating. It's already half used. Someone gave me a half used artifact, so we're just gonna go ahead and sell this right away for more money, because it's worth a lot of money. That's genuinely enough money for me to buy a gun, like a better pistol. So I'm thinking, chat. I feel like. I just wish I could use- I knew which one of these I could put a fucking silencer on. But if I had to guess, probably the M9 and not the G17. And I'm only saying that because I swear to god, I got- I bought the G17 in a previous beta and I couldn't put a fucking silencer on it after I bought the silencer. So we're gonna go with an M9. And... I can't afford the pistol suppressor yet. Damn, I kind of want to buy them together. We'll buy it later. We'll buy it later. Alright, what are we doing next? Daylight is burning. It takes like two hours to get to the zone. Uh, sample courier. Propose of purpose of the new task shouldn't bother you. We are assigning you to an urgent mission to retrieve the container lost in this area and deliver it to the facility. Oh, fuck. Dude, I don't- that, I, that place is sort of shitty. 
Uh, operation cleanup. Proceed with the program. It is vital that you carry out a cleanup operation in the designated area. Kill everything in that spot. Uh, no, I don't really want to. <laughs> Paparazzi. The committee assigns you on a scouting mission. Deliver photographic evidence of the radius creatures. Note that the photographic equipment is to be obtained by the effector and submitted all together with the photographic evidence. Bring photos of enemies. Take picture of all the listed monsters. It doesn't say which monsters I need to take a photo of, but it's absolutely going to be those gun guys. Uh, which doesn't really... Alright, we're gonna do sample courier. Fuck it. We're gonna pick up that sample in that spot. And honestly, we might deliberately wait until the night to go and do it. No, we'll go now. Fuck it. I'm not a pussy! I can handle anything this game throws at me! I can collect samples, and then once I get $675, I'll be able to buy that gun and silencer. The only thing I didn't check is when the fucking flood is happening. I never checked that. When is that happening? Actually. Wait a minute. When is that? When's that happening? 20... Did I say tw two hours? No, two days. Two days from now. So we're fine. Alright, chat. So, we are going... A little ways out. Uh... Wait. Why am I not able to see that? There it is. It's very light. All right, we're by going to two ponds right near the safe house, actually. There's a safe house over there we can go to. As long as that thing doesn't start any bullshit, we should be able to get there in a day's walk down the road. And that's a good... That's good. Can't fucking see this. There we go. We should be careful, chat. You never know what can happen in front of the orb. The orb. It's one of the most powerful entities this world has ever seen, Jack. How's my condition on this? It's starting to get a little yellow. I'm gonna hug the fence here. Try to like thread the needle of these two things. Okay. Easy there. Easy. Don't want no trouble. Ow, I hit my face. Alright, that's a safe house. We're going for that. This is like no man's land. I don't like being in these like clearings. Because like enemies can absolutely see you. And then they can like run straight for you like a psycho. That train looks like it's floating. Because it is. Nice. I don't know if I'd want to sleep in that. Hey, guy? Is this actually a safe place? Dude? Bro? Ooh, candy. Ooh, pistol ammo. These don't go together. <laughs> Yourself no now I'm going to rip you in half Fuck, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Let me up. I said let me let me up. Let me in the Sometimes ladders in this game don't uh don't enjoy you. So hang on, I'm gonna do this a different way. I'm gonna get up to the top, and I'm going to rotate myself onto it. There we go. Hello? Anyone? Ooh! <laughs> I wonder what they got me for Christmas. Oh no, chat's fucking gone. Chat? Chat? Well, yeah, I can read that. <laughs> yeah, I can read that. Nice. Thanks. What did they get me for Christmas? Oh my god, it's a weather machine! Cool, neato! Buckshot and FMJ rounds. For a gun I don't use. The buckshot I'm gonna take. 
And I'm going to load them. This is loaded, right? Yeah, these are real. They are already proper bullets. Okay. I don't need to sleep. But I could sleep here. That day, me and Ace got a job from the committee, so I offed him and made a stash in a pipe in the woods by the station near the Pervame route. Yeah, Ace brought me luck. Alright, there's a pipe nearby with the dead guy's stuff in it. Keep an eye out for pipes. Rocks. Get out of my fucking way. I gotta turn off my headlamp now. Alright, chat, we're entering the danger zone where we can absolutely get shot by a fucking mimic. Which are those guys with guns. But, um... If I had a telescope, I would be able to tell you that's the lakes that we're looking for. Right there. We're going to, between that big one, basically where that monster is, is it should be where my item is. Our problem is, uh... I'm pretty sure that pipe there is patrolled by a monster guy. Is that a wee lad? There? Oh no. Oh no, there's multiple of them. It's infestation in the water. Fucking bitch! Fucking... That, I hate those things. Jesus Christ, I hate them. Which means those fucking mimics probably heard me. I need a silencer on this goddamn gun. Yep, there's a guy right there. He did not hear me. Good. There's another one of those things in the water. I know that. Let's just deal with these guys first. This knife's about to break, isn't it? Yep. That guy sees me, I'm fucked. Right now, we gotta do this. I gotta get rid of this monster. I can't shoot at it, but it can't see me right now, which is why it's not jumping at me. Please stop. He doesn't know I'm back here. Got it. I feel like everyone's gonna hear this if I shoot with the shotgun. One more guy. Okay, I missed almost every fucking shot with that pistol. We're so close. I'm fine littering. I don't care. I don't care whatever it takes. There goes all my ammo. But we only need this much to finish this. If we just fucking get there, it should be right here. Genuinely right here, I just gotta stay quiet so the fucking monsters don't see me. Because if those gun guys see me, we have to bug out really fast. That's probably it. Fuck, it's closer to the thing. We're sneaking. We're gonna go quiet. We're crawling on the ground. Running, 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 running. There's mimics all over every roof on this game. If there's a roof that you can access, there's a guy with a gun on it that's gonna try to shoot you. Oh, 
Fuck me. All right. Let's tango. Come on, I know you're gonna try it. Let's just get this over with now. Hey! Jackass! Oh, he's stuck in a little- <coughs> Fuck, son of a bitch! <laughs> Ow! I hate you! He's panicking? It's so easy to panic in this fucking game. It's so easy. It's like the easiest panic game ever made. Okay? I panic in it. What can I say? It's a panic game. You panic. Good news is we'll make about $800 off of this mission. The shotgun was a good buy. Okay? Sounds like sounds a pussy would make LMAO. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. That's you. Making your stupid sounds. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. How about you get fucking into the radius? How about you steal someone's index and you play into the radius and you tell me how you do? Because I don't think you're going to last very long. In hell. All right, this place is fucking hell. Only psychos can survive in a place like this. All right. Only psychos. Only complete fucking maniacs. I like how it's sealed. Yeah, don't buy an index. What are you fucking crazy? <laughs> That's called the waste of money. Steal one. Steal it from someone. Take theirs without asking. And then it's yours. You know? Easy. Alright. Let's get this thing we got delivered. This giant box. The samples should be here. Alright. Fresh delivery. There you have it. Uh, there, there you have it, son. Six dollars seventy-five cents. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's deliver this mail thing to whatever. Let's also drop off these bullets I don't use. Let's also... That's just buckshot. We actually need buckshot. Let's actually load these up. Hell yeah. Now let's deliver this empty box. They'll pay premium for that. Let's also... I don't know. Actually, I need everything else. Just so you never forget, all right? The way things are, the dynamic we have, all right? Just so you never forget. I don't keep it, fuck, I don't keep it on safety, ever. It's always ready to go. All right, we've got $2,000. That's enough to buy an M9 and get rid of this horrible, horrible gun. But you know what that isn't enough to buy? Possibly the magazines and the suppressor. That's 11.50 with two mags. Suppressor. For 6.50. That leaves us with $200. Which is genuinely only enough to buy 15 fucking rounds. So there's no reason to have more than uh, the one, well, the two mags. Please, God, I really hope this pistol suppressor is the right one. Now look at this bad boy. Now look at this. Now this is a gun that... Now this is a gun that... Did I see a monster? I heard a monster, I swear to God. Oh my God. No. Isn't this a pistol suppressor mount? Is this not- is this not the fucking thing? Okay, let me put it on dressing mode. It might be that I'm not in dressing mode. No, it doesn't go to this. Fuck! It's fine, because we can use it later. That's not threaded! That's not threaded! 
That's not threaded. I swear I'm just doing something wrong. It can actually absolutely be attached to this. Genuinely, chat, because uh, there's not many more pistols to buy in the game. Like, our only... As far as pistols are concerned... It's really it. Like, there, there's not many more pistols types. So this is absolutely the one. I think I'm just doing the controls wrong. Do you have to be in a special spot to do it? That's what I'm thinking it might be. Either way, the gun is a massive upgrade, and the suppressor's worth having for when I do figure it out. But let's go over to, like, my mod table. Do it over there. Because I definitely couldn't attach it with the Glock. Come on. Piece of shit. <sighs> Could look up controls help. Hang on, let me try that. Press B to remove safety. Uh, press A to reject magazine. Pistol used by the U.S. Armed Forces. If I check the controls on the suppressor, it might say, hey, this is the pistol you use for this. Go to dressing mode. Uh... Oh, it's to remove the attachment. Yeah, I... It definitely doesn't work with the PM. Either. And I know it doesn't work with the Glock, because I tried it with the Glock in an earlier patch. Maybe there's an attachment I need to buy that enables it to work instead. Is what I'm starting to think. Because it's definitely not working. Let me try it with this one. No, it absolutely is not the Glock, but that's fine. Look, we'll be we'll be fine. Uh, I am gonna go check though. I know how it works. Just don't want to give too much info and backseat. No, get, tell me how to put the attachment on. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can tell me how to put the attachment on if it's like, like, just tell me what to, like how to put it on, if you know how to do it. In the train, okay. So I'm guessing it's the upgrade button. I have to buy an upgrade that enables me to put it on it. Which means I probably don't have enough money to do it. Because I'd rather not get rid of the PM, because if I die, I'll lose my gun. And then I won't ha be able to go get my stuff back without a backup. But I'm going to assume it's this then. And I upgrade. Yep. There we go, I need $300. Okay. Uh, I might be able to get that. But probably not. Without selling my other pistol. And I'm not really keen on doing that just yet. So we'll probably have to wait a mission before we can put the suppressor on. Even if I sold, like, everything in here, I don't think I'd be able to do it yet. But that's fine. Now we know. And no, I'm not going to sell my old pistol chat, so don't even ask. Wow, these take a lot of fucking ammo. Holy shit. This is an insane amount of ammo. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'll see how much these would all sell for. If it meets me in the middle, having a suppressor would probably outweigh the loss of the pistol right now. Let's see how much I could actually make off of selling like this. Nope. Not happening. Even though I sold all the mags with it. Yeah, we'll have to do it next time. Man, chat is grungo tonight. Chat, who fucking cares? I'm not reading you more than 2% of the time. So you whining about it doesn't really make it any better. It just makes it... It's kind of pointless. I'm gonna sell these. I will sell these spare uh, magazines. 
I would even dare say sometimes observing and saying over and over again because I know some of you do it a lot and you're like man chat sucks today man chat sucks today man chat sucks today probably doesn't make it better it probably contributes to its suckiness uh, I don't want to like dump on you but it probably doesn't help probably makes it worse <laughs> just so you know You know, hang on, how much would these sell? Seven dollars. Nope, I was like, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh... Shit, yeah. I'm not gonna sell them yet. I'm gonna keep them, uh... I'm gonna keep all my old PM ammo and the gear in here, like on the shelf for now. So if I ever need it, I will know where it is. Nice and neat. And it leaves me with, like, 25 rounds of pistol ammo, which is about the same as what this thing holds total. And a much smaller package. Also, not gonna carry the fucking suppressor on me. God forbid I die and lose $600 worth of gear for nothing. What am I doing on food? Uh, I need to eat something. Mmm, yeah. Alright, we're gonna sleep. Till dawn, and then we will, uh, figure out what we're gonna do to make, like, $500. And then we'll be good to go. We need something easy that isn't going to get me killed. Uh, that's suicide. Maybe we do another in and out. Wait, flesh in the flash in the dark. Your loyalty will be taken into consideration, Explorer 61. Your map has been marked with the coordinates of an exotic emission, presumably the source of an uncategorized artifact. Deliver it to the facility. Where is that? Wait, where is it on the map? I don't see where it wants me to go. Is it a different area? The artifact is hidden in an extremely dangerous place. You will need a gas mask GP5. I don't see where it's trying to take me. Let me check my map here. That doesn't help me much. I feel like I know where it is. I feel like it's that fucking miserable, miserable green place. Which actually isn't that bad to get to. Let me see if I accept it if it tells me where it is. It doesn't. I have no fucking clue where this is. It says Belotsky Village. Yeah, I wish it would just show me where in Belotsky Village it was. Yeah, we're not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna board. You don't get punished. You don't get punished for aborting, by the way. So it's fine. Uh, papers driving in the term of free will missions program. Uh, we have assigned you on a courier test. Deliver the papers from the specified area to the facility. Your cooperation. I'm not going into that fucking shithole. I just won't. Not yet. We're gonna do this anomaly cluster mission. Pick up another anomaly quick. For $400. Because that's relatively safe and won't burn through my resources as much. And that'll get me enough to get the suppressor on. And then I'll feel comfortable going small map. Chat, there's like eight of them. It works like stalker, so it's like, this is like cordon that we're in right now. So if it looks small, it's because it's a very small part of a much larger game. Just for the record. Okay. We know where we're headed. So it shouldn't be too hard. We're going right there, which is actually right next to the Pobita factory. We just hug the wall. We know how we know how to get to that spot. Easy peasy. Take this off of safety. This I feel a lot better with this pistol than I do with the other one. Like for sure. Whoa, I need to eat. I forgot I have to do that to survive. Well, there goes my can. That lasted me so much longer than I thought it would. Let's roll. I'm still hurt. I'm gonna have to use one of these. I should have used it when I was still at the place. That's fine. An easy, an 
in and out mission, Chad, no problem. I might even go for an extra item. I think if I leave the zone from any place that isn't the predetermined spot, it'll spit me out most likely here because most of this place is uh, walls. So it'll probably spit me out back near the exit if I like just leave from the opposite side to take a shortcut, sort of. I'm gonna try it. Hello? Hello? Do you see me? Hello? He's gonna attack me when I least expect it. And like stab me in the neck. Yeah, that's gonna suck. So, I'm going to those cubes. I believe that is where I'm going. Thank God it's not that. You know, it could have been that. They could have sent me there. Oh, there comes a guy. Let's move farther this way and see if I can like get some distance before I do this. So that no gun guys hear me. Oh, where's my knife? It despawned. Oh, I put it in my backpack. And now it's despawned. But we brought a spare! Spare knife. Okay. So am I sure this is the way I'm supposed to go? Oh, it's warbling. Yep. <laughs> Straight ahead. Alright, Jet, masks on! Just for now. I can't afford to take any damage or anything. Where the fuck is my thing? Where the hell is my... Did my scanner just disappear? Hello? I think my scanner just bugged and dis disappeared. I may have to reload. Hello? Oh, it's back on my chest. <laughs> it like, it disappeared and I couldn't see it when I looked down. We put it on again. <sighs> Can I squeeze through the bottom? I might. Still got a ways to go, chat. Before we get to our objective of the pile. Gently and slowly. It's probably right by that stupid looking tree. This looks like what we came for. Lady! Right? That fucking wasn't it. Next one's actually back towards the exit. And really close. Is it right here? Might be right be beneath me? There it is. Actually inside of Anomaly. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to reach that. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, uh, it's rolling down a hill. Ow, fuck. There was something there, and I think the anomaly killed it. Fucking stop. I don't know if I can get this thing, whatever it was. It was right inside of an anomaly. Yeah, whatever it was, it's gone. I made a reload. I don't think that's intended. That's absolutely not intended for it to disappear like that. That thing fell off the map, I think, right underneath it. Uh, but good news is, this game auto-saves. So I can just reload probably right at the thing. 
or fairly close. Yep. Did it just... No. Okay, cool. Stuff's still there. Oh my god. Stop, dude. Got it. I had to, like, go in quickly to get it. I'm about to die, but I had to go in quick to get it before it fell out of the map. Okay. Jesus Christ! Well, we can go this way. Just a little bit more and we'll be, everything will be right as rain. I don't remember if I went this way, though. But this hole, there's a hole right here. Don't panic, just stay s narrow, all right? Health isn't doing great, but I'm out of it. Let's take the hat off. And I'm guessing that was what I needed, all right? Yeah, yep, all right, let's go. We're getting the fuck out of there. Wait, do you see that? Who's up for a little bit of extra adventure? I see a tower. Off the beaten path. Not labeled by anything. You know how I'm you know what I am what I'm like. You know how I do. I love items. And the the tide's coming soon. It's gonna destroy everything here. Once I'm in, there's a lot. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that startled me enough that I knocked things down in my actual house. Son of a bitch. Stop! Fucking desk bottles. It's fine, I need to slide away from my table though. Okay. It's like a bottle of water fell over. What is all this? Oh, it's a, it's a safe house. If we want to sleep a little bit. Which I fucking don't. Are you fed up with these tiny... What the fuck is all this? Oh, they're talking about the spider guys. The little black spider things. Yeah, they're telling us like, we can strafe them. Alright, we're heading out. Unless I see something else that might be, like, special lootable. But I don't really want to get into a fight with the goblins. Actually, that looks like the edge of a map. Maybe I go for that. I just get out of here. Wait, no, that looks like an exit. As in not, the, like, a reset point. That would be the village. Fuck. Yeah, we gotta go back the way we came. Too bad, but that's just how it's gonna have to be. There's not gonna be anything new inside that base camp either. Cause, uh, there hasn't been a tide yet. So, uh, we're just gonna backtrack perfectly the way we came and get our stuff out. It was worth making sure this was here. The only, re only reason I'd do anything is if I thought there was something inside that horrible nightmare place, but what are the odds of that? You know, there's not gonna be anything in this. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. No, not the... You guys want to make some money? Or do you want to live forever? I don't know if it's up 
or down. If it's up, boy oh boy, is it gonna take a little bit to get there. This is suicide. This, right now, what I'm doing for a dollar is suicide. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? For a dollar! Flower. that fucking sound? Where's the other one? It's this way. It's like right here. But up? Oh, fuck you! Oh, the things I do for cash. Is it worth it? The answer is absolutely no. The answer is no. It's absolutely not worth going for this. This is psycho. Why am I doing this? Everyone just shut the fuck up. Okay, it's gonna be $200. It's gonna be so fucking worth it. job and we will be able to buy the high quality radiation suit. I'm slipping. Ah! I am dangling off the edge. I'm gonna heal because I think I'm about to fall. That, it might honestly be my best idea to fucking just try to drop onto that thing. Oh, I got on it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna fucking hurl. Wait. No, there's not more. There's something in that fucking hole. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Pass. This sucks. Why did I do this? Chat, what was I thinking? Why did I do this? There's not one like in there, is there? I'm not bothering. Besides, it says it's directly below me, which is inside the fucking real shit. So I'm not gonna bother. We're just gonna get out so I can take the mask off. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. That's enough of that. That is enough of that. <laughs> that is enough of that. If, if someone else wants to think from that place, they can climb in the hole themselves. But we did it. We got a bunch of stuff to sell. Chad, that's gonna make us enough money to buy whatever I need. We're gonna get this gun silence. We're gonna get a fucking gun scope silence. This poor fucking guy is stuck in that anomaly. I don't think he can move. We're leaving. Fucking little piece of shit. Better luck next time, motherfucker. There's a lot more than that to kill me. You see me fucking Matrix dodge that chap? Huh? Did you see that? Did you catch it? When I fucking dodged that thing by leaning backwards? 
like a badass. Those things don't scare me. You strafe them, you automatically beat them. The only, honestly, the only enemy that scares me, we haven't seen yet. The gun guys are scary. But there's something that's like, really scary? That I don't know if we're gonna get to today. I, in my opinion, I don't think we'll get there. But they suck. So, so bad, that I like quit the game. I stopped playing 1.0 when I got to the point where they were spawning. Kitchen Goblin? They're called Sliders. And they're not the cheeseburgers. 25, 34, hop, hop, hike! He's going for it, he's going for it, he's really gonna get there, he's really gonna get out of the map without- There we go. Slug person? No, sliders. They, uh, they do- they're like SCP-173. Kind of. And they're really fun. They're really fun to fight. I can't remember which one of these they want delivered. But I guess we'll see once we get in. Hey, hey! I'm here with my box, full of garbage. Here for a delivery. Which one did you want? Neon? That's not neon. This here looks like neon. Alright. Bada bing. That's gonna be $400 you owe me. And then some change. Wait! Rule, first rule of this fucking game. Do not sell any artifacts until you've made sure that another job isn't going to say, Hey, we need an artifact from that other place. And you already got it. So let's check it quick. Heavy Helix. Are any of these Heavy Helix? This would have probably only sold for about $100. And now I'm going to get it for 1000 Bazongus. Easy money. That's called easy money. Never do it for free, Chad, alright? Never never do these things for them for free. Alright? Now we don't have to go back into that shithole. And we'll even check one more time to see if anyone else wants any weird artifacts that we've already collected on the house for them. We'll just do it over and over again until we've cleared everything in our inventory and we're out of things that they want. But it's looking like we're starting to burn through everything. Special Rift, destroy it, kill all the monsters, paparazzi, papers, and then we got Flash in the Dark. I think we're ready to do Flash in the Dark once I've sold all this stuff. I think we will be ready to do that. How's this? Enemies, you'll be surprised, but enemies can see and hear you. Sneak, use silencers, turn off your flashlight, and laser head to stay undetected for longer. Remember, a silencer doesn't make you soundless. It lowers the volume, but doesn't turn it off. True, Drew, Drew, Drew. I'm gonna sell this. How much money does it get me? Six hundred fucking dollars! Oh my god, chat. Look at how much money we have. Oh baby. Let's get this gun attached. Alright? Let's get this gun attached. Upgrade. Ah, yeah. I would like a fucking suppressor, please. While that's happening, let's see how much a pistol scope costs. That's a normal, that's a USSR attachment. Do I buy it? It would be a good, it would be amazing to have a sight. I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna do both. We're gonna get this thing maximum upgraded. Alright. So, I need to upgrade again so I can get a sight on this. So, scope them out, please. And that'll give us enough to buy another magazine and some more ammo. Afterwards. Chad, yeah, we're about to- this pistol's about to be crazy, Chad. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. That is a big scope for it. But, it actually will be more helpful than it being a single dot. Like, genuinely, I think the circle's gonna be fine. It makes it a lot easier to actually see where it is. Cause, so, honestly, guys, in VR, when a sight is just a tiny red dot, it's super fucking hard to visualize where it is. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not opposed to it being that big. It's really hard to visualize a single dot in VR. So, if there's a circle, at least I can always tell where the fuck the dot is. Alright, silence are on. Oh my god, chat. Look at that. 
Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, let's buy some- let's buy another magazine and a bunch of ammo. Actually, we have two syringes for healing. Let's buy more ammo and not buy another mag. We already have two- we have three- no, we have two mags. Two mags I think will be fine considering each one holds about fucking 15 rounds. I think if I need more than that in a fight, I am fucked, to be honest. So we're gonna buy some of those, and then we're gonna buy some more medical supplies. What the hell is it? Survival equipment. And they'll leave us with a tiny bit of money left to do whatever with. Good. Still got plenty of food, so not to worry about that yet. God, look at how much ammo these things take. Like, that's what I'm telling you. We can actually sell the, the PM now, I think. I think this is gonna be fine. I think I'll sell the PM and that'll get me enough to buy one more magazine. I wouldn't mind having three mags. I don't think I need more than that, but I think three would be kind of nice. No, I want to keep these as backup. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not fooling myself into it. That's dumb. We're gonna save it. We're not doing that. But I will take this candy bar. Am I willing to push through to Bolotsky Village? I just wish I could see the map for Bolotsky Village. What time is it? 7.27. Fuck it. Let's go to Bolotsky Village. Now, we're gonna want to wake up early to go to Bolotsky Village so we can wake up at 6 a.m. I'm gonna need to eat some snacks. Jet! We're going on a dangerous trip today, Jet. Do you understand me? Some of you will genuinely die. You won't make it out. I'm telling you that now. Some of you are like, I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you really will die. You're really, you will really die. I'm not joking. You will perish from this world. But those of you that survive, will be so freaking epic, you won't even know it. You won't even understand how wow it is dark today. Well, chat, <laughs> we gotta get out there early. We got a big day today. Big day today, chat. Let's get out there. Big day today. Streamer can't even protect chat. No, chat. The thing is, I'm going to throw you in the way of the enemies. I will throw you in the way of the enemies to save myself. Wow, it is fucking dark. It's 6 a.m.? Fuck me. <laughs> Imagine coming out here with just a flashlight. Oh my god. Well, we know where we're going, don't we? Balotsky Village. We're gonna go to the safe house there. Hello? Already people? I would really rather not fight this guy. We're gonna just go around these guys. I'm trying to save resources here. We know the path to get pretty close. Let's try to avoid fighting guys for now. Just for now. And honestly, let's cut the flashlight for now as well. As long as there's light in front of us, we only need to ping it every- Fucking ow. <laughs> that was embarrassing. We only need to ping it every once in a while. And it'll mean that we aren't spotted. Because right now it's nighttime, so we can get seen really fucking easy at night. Sun's starting to come up though. So it's only gonna be a little bit like this. Do 
Just a little bit. That's what you get for traveling in the dark. Shut up! I don't see that guy behind us. We're gonna go to the safe house up here. We're gonna wait until the sun's up all the way. Oh my god. This place looks fucking miserable. Like, the most miserable fucking place I've ever seen in my- Wait, I forgot something. Oh, fuck. Chat, we have five hours till the tide comes. We gotta get into the fucking village map before the fucking tide. Or we're in big fucking trouble. We gotta move. Tide's coming in five hours. I completely forgot about the tide mechanic because it hasn't happened yet. Let's try to be in Belotsky Village before that happens or it's going to put me back at this part of the map again on the other side and I'm going to waste a whole day. Okay. Made to the safe house. Which means... Just a monster. Just a monster. We're right there. I want to go straight this way. Just a monster. You know, it's probably faster if we just do this rather than use our light. Considering we know the direction we're headed. Alright, this fog leads to Balotsky Village. Unfortunately, it also goes straight towards it. We know what we're doing. Okay. Fuck me. Is that a guy in the tower? Where'd that gunshot come from? I think he's in the tower. I mean, I need to fucking kill him or he's gonna make a- How much more time do I have before the tide? The fuck was that? That's definitely him. I heard like a growl. He's up there. Yeah, 100%. Four hours. This is stupid of me. What am I doing? up here. It's just him. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fucking seriously, bro! Jesus! I don't need to fight him. We're moving on to Bolotsky Village. That's scary. I don't think I actually got hit by him. I got hit by the ma like, falling. Like, two inches. Okay, new map. Never been here. But good news is we made it, which means we won't be worrying about uh, the tide kicking us all the way back to the other map. I don't remember spending 18 fucking rounds, but whatever. Hang on, my fucking eyes. I got something in my eyes. My eyes. My precious eyes. Okay. We have probably mi like minimal time before the tide. Four hours. Which is basically six minutes of real world time. Where are we going? We're right here. That's the factory. Our objective is fucking where? I don't see her objective. There. We're close. We're actually really close to it. It's like right there. We might be able to get this before the fucking shit happens. This place sucks.
They also said this place was dangerous and I would probably want a gas mask for it, so, uh... We're looking for a place with horrible, horrible gas. Is this actually the place? Oh no, this is actually the place. Fucking god. God, there's the train station, there's the train rails. So yeah, it's right here. And there's the safe house right there. How much time do I have before the fucking tide? Three minutes, 42 seconds. God damn it! Mask on! Let's get in there! Love parkour. Pretty sure there's an item directly below me. Yeah, it's right down there. I'd rather not fall in. And I took fall damage anyways, cause momentum. We need to do this quick. Son of a bitch! It was up. We need to get that quickly before it fucking- before the tide. I hear a monster. That that's me breathing. It's right there, I can see it. If I fall, I believe I'm going to instantly be shredded by these anomalies. Good news is, I've gotten pretty good at this part. Is this what I came for? Unknown. Was that it? Yes. We need to leave. The tide's coming. I would much rather be spat out in my familiar map than this one. Time to go. If I have a choice of which place to be spat out by the tide, I'll choose the one I'm familiar with, thank you. Take the mask off. Because it'll spit me out, like, randomly, I think. Fucking Jesus Christ! That was my own rushing, but, I mean, I'm sort of frantic right now. How much time do I have? Was that flashing? Two minutes, 37 seconds. There's a monster coming after me. Game's auto-saving. Anything in these cars? Oh. My God. There was things in the car. Not really sure why I'm wasting the bullets on that. The good thing I stopped here. Gra grab all this stuff before it despawns. I don't even know what this is. Just take it. Glitched texture toilet paper. And VOG 25. Uh, Soviet fragmentation grenade for grenade launchers. How much time do I have? Two minutes, 13 seconds. Fuck, it makes me want to check the other one. But that monster's over there, I don't really want to fight it. I think I might see a slider right way over there. Although, chat, if I wait here until the tide, there's a chance this'll respawn. I'm not taking that chance.
Tide's in a minute 55. I think we just wait here. Where it's safe. Where there's no enemies. There's no point trying to run to it. I don't think we'll make it in time to the exit. I think we kick back. And chill. Maybe I'll like go up in that tower so I know nothing will kill me. Even though a fall from this height would kill me, I would rather be in the tower, I think, than on the ground with the monsters. There we go. Jay, we've done good for ourselves today. We've done real good for ourselves. No one can take that from us, you understand me? In a minute 37? Wait, hang on. One minute 32? Actually, it's technically an hour 30. No, I've got enough time to go to the bathroom. Try to go to the bathroom while the clock ticks down. Alright, I gotta piss so bad. I will make it back. Don't worry, I've been doing the math. I'll make it. I'll be back. I didn't miss it. I swear I didn't miss it. 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 My hands are stretchy, but I didn't miss it. So fast? I'm always fast when I need to do something. Like not miss. Oh, I had so much time. I had so. We actually could totally leave. We totally have enough time to leave. But I want to see what happens. I want to be in here. I wish I had a. I need to get a fuck. Remind me when I get back to the base. Uh, with all the incredible amount of cash I'm about to make off of this job. This easy as fuck job. Okay. Remind me. Alright. To buy binoculars. If you can buy binoculars. It'll let you see things at a distance. They're really helpful. And I haven't found any yet. 50 seconds till the tide hits. How do you guys want to spend your last hours on Earth? What the fuck is the- oh, it's a gas mask. Man, my inventory's a mess. It doesn't help that, like, this toilet paper is absolutely fucked. This is anomalous paper. Like, look at this. This, this right here is anomalous toilet paper. Do not let this thing touch your ass. Okay. Like, don't let this thing touch- this is cursed. You can see, like, the interior of the roll where the toilet paper is actually supposed to be. That's anomalous paper. While we're waiting here, I might as well load up my magazines. <sighs> Put on the safety and kick back. I can't do it like that. Sometimes I forget. How much time we get to the end of the world anyways? 20 seconds. blow up guess this is it huh the tide comes I mean does it though whoa what the heck the fog 
The bug! The bug! I should have been in a spot that. Easy fast travel, baby. Bazongus. It's as simple as that. Wait a minute. Chat? Oh, I was like, I was like, it stole my item. I was like, where's my treasure? <laughs> we got what we came for. Let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, what that did was it respawned all the items in like loot boxes. Hey. But it would be incredibly inconvenient, you know, if you were like in a deep part of the map that's really hard to get to and then you got kicked all the way back to the base camp and then also had everything respawn in front of you. Fresh delivery. Delicious. Just unknown treasures from the void realm. But bada bing. How much money is that worth? Twenty five hundred dollars. Which gives me twenty six hundred dollars. Which gives me enough money to buy whatever I want. The world is my oyster now. You know, there's a lot of map on the screen. And this is only taking up a really small amount of a much larger picture. I'm pretty sure uh, the maps get larger too. So there's one that's going to be much larger than these other two small ones. Alright, so now most of our stuff is sending us to Balotsky. Oh my god, I gotta turn off the AC. I'm like, my hands are freezing off. Hang on, I gotta like get the AC. My hands are actually freezing off. It's so cold. It's like 66 in my office. I've been running the AC this whole time because I've been hot, and now I'm cold. Ah. Well, we're definitely gonna do something in Balotsky. I don't want to keep doing the same place. Uh, in and out, metastasis, radius treasures in Balotsky. Okay, that is such a long fucking trip. Uh, can we pick something that's a little bit, maybe a easier ease in on Belotsky? Metastasis, find the special rift and destroy it. That one's pretty close. But it's through a village, which I think would absolutely kill me. Uh, what about, uh, what about, uh, what about, uh, in, in, in and out? No, that's the place we did last time. I'd rather do something new in Belotsky if I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna go and die in Belotsky. Uh, let's do metastasis. No, let's do radius treasures, get the heavy helix in Belotsky. Yeah, I can do that. Nice 72 in my office. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Glad you're comfortable. You know what's important? All right. Can you feel my fatigue and my health, please? So, we are sitting on $2,500. That's enough for me to buy something. Something powerful. Perhaps. Maybe a PPSH. Full. Version. No, no, no. Maybe a better shotgun. No, I'd like to... First, I gotta buy one of those uh, binoculars that I talked about. Where the hell are those? Be in combat equipment, wouldn't it? Monocular. There we go. That way I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Hey, look at this, Jad. Look at that. Look at that. Now we can see what we're doing. Well, you can't. You probably can't see fucking anything, but I can. And it's better than nothing. And it will help me. On the journey. Oh, I want to, hi, I want to sell all this toilet paper. This is anomalous toilet paper. It's worth fucking four dollars. Okay. I also sell this, uh, we got a lot of these knives. Oh, I actually keep, I keep knives. I, I keep knives. Knives are kept. Just in case. 
Sha sha. We got all the first aid. We'll put it all down here. Hat. Put that first aid there. We're selling all these. These grenades are getting sold. I, uh, unless I can genuinely instantly buy the AR that goes with it, we're selling them. PPSH, 12 gauge, 545, AKS. I can, I can't buy any of them. They're all security level three. Yeah, nah, no ARs. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Everything's like high security. Maybe I, I might be able to buy a Mosin. Nope. Wow, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get a DVL-10 anytime soon, gang. Or a Scar. I don't think so. I can't even buy a Mosin. That's security level three. Yeah, no reason to have this. These are being sold. Well, imagine if they blew up. They were $24 a pop. This was a good find. How's the quality on this? Ooh, it's starting to deteriorate a little. Still another. There's so many of these things. Is this empty? Nah, we got one more in here. This thing could last us a while. Well, we're definitely going to buy more pistol ammo. $120. So, we've got a pistol scope. Honestly, uh, I'm going to buy another mag for sure. Okay. Buy another M9 magazine. We want one of those. I'm also going to buy, like, what the hell? A big box. 300 cartridges. Chat. Chat. That's 300 rounds. I'll never have to care about ammo again. How much does that weigh? That's a lot. But... Nah, I, someone do the math on this, please. Each one of these boxes contains 25 rounds and costs $165. This contains 300 rounds and costs $1,900. How much money am I saving? It should be easy. I'm assuming the bulk is significantly better, but I'm not about to try to do math. Same value, it's 12 times. Same value. Okay, then I'm not buying that, because I'm not going to use that. I might not ever shoot 300 rounds. Uh, we'll buy two more boxes. My god. That was embarrassing. That was supposed to land on this table. That... Get out of here. Okay, this is all full. You know what? I might buy one more mag. I know I, I, I... Having three mags... Having four mags, basically, is really nice. Like, for my, like... Feeling confident in myself. And I still have a lot of money. And it seems that you make a lot of money in this game in general. It makes me feel a little bit better. So we got Buckshot. 16 in that one. 10 in that one. 10 in this one. Let's get this split. Stop! Go inside the box now! Okay. And then we just got some in that one. We can sell this empty box for $3. Perfect. And that's how you get kitted out. I could buy an MP5K, but I don't really think automatic guns are really going to be that helpful. Uh, what I might do with this pistol now is uh, give it a, one more upgrade. I'm sort of feeling like it might be good if it's reliable as fuck. Ooh, wait. Rail attachment. Hang on. Can I get a laser sight on this? That might be worth it. 
Braille S. That might be the best thing. Braille S? Let's get a Braille S attachment on it. We're gonna buy a nice attachment for this gun. And then we'll be able to see everything all the time. Oh, for a second I thought it was already on. I was like, wait, they gave it to me for free? <laughs> laser pointer, weapon. I don't need a flashlight. I don't want a laser pointer. Chat. I have no idea how to use these. Hi, how do I use this? I didn't check the controls. <laughs> Hi. I would like to know how to use the laser pointer. Uh, mm, uh. Oh, there we go. Alternate hand. Okay, got it. That's not bad. That's a really good laser sight. Holy shit. Center two. That's yeah, opposite hand. You have to have opposite hand. That's like a that's like a Resident Evil. All right, laser sight right there. That's re that's like Resident Evil tier. Hey, thanks for the gifted subs, thousand max. Thanks. Oh Jesus! So this gun's fucking ace. Like it's as good as it can be, minus a couple of small upgrades. Uh, I've got a ton of healing things. It got really quiet really quickly. Got my toothbrush. <laughs> Pack that. Got my food. I'm still not full on space. That's good. We're not going to need this uh, one because of that. Does the laser persist? It does. Okay, so we want that off if we're not actively using it. So enemies can't see it on the ground. We're ready to, like, go. However, I'm going to sleep. What time is it? 17. Yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna sleep until the morning. 7 a.m. Shine laser into eyeball. You think? <laughs> it actually kind of fucks with you. Wow, that's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Chad. I just gave you free LASIK for nothing. You should be thanking me. Whiny little shits. So we got one of these, two of these. We got four of them. Perfect. Those are four full heals. Now we just need to eat uh, some snacks. How much health? I might buy one more, like... I might buy another can of food. And eat that one. Save the other two. Is this American healthcare? Yeah, kinda. Do you like it? So let's see what we got in the old restaurant for food. Canned beef, canned pineapple. Let's buy some pineapple. Let's eat, let's eat up some pineapple, Jet. Everyone loves pineapple. You like pineapple? Whoa, baby. Oh my god. Mm. Mm, they don't look so good on the interior. On the inside of the box. Mm. Ah, that's this is the life. Oh wait, that's uh I'm full. <laughs> we will save that piece of pineapple for later. Let's get out there. Hey, thousand marks. Thousand manx. Thanks for another ten gifted subs. What the hell? Thank you so much. I hope you guys have been enjoying this game, because, uh, it really is, it, it really is something I was hoping I could, uh, share with everyone. Just hope you've had fun watching it. Because, uh, it re they devs really have done a good job with it. And I honestly just wanted to do whatever I could to try to help out. That's a different, this is a new guy. Ooh, energy drinks. I love energy drinks. I haven't drank any yet because I haven't needed them. Uh, worthless ammo. This might actually go to this. Nope. Some worthless ammo type I don't care about. 
Probably like stupid type. Whoa. Was there always an anomaly right there? Oh no, we've got like a... Wait! How the hell did... There's supposed to be a tide happening! This shouldn't be here anymore! How the hell did that still happening, Chad? That's not supposed to... We got rid of that box. Alright, we're gonna go the exact same way we did last time. But with our new tools in here. This laser sight is fucking primo shit. I genuinely cannot believe how good this laser is. Safety off. Let's get out there. We know exactly what we came to do. I should make sure my magazine is loaded. It is. And do I have a fucking bullet in the chamber? I do. It's a nice touch in any VR game, by the way, when the devs keep in mind that in real life, you can quietly half check the chamber to see if there's a bullet in it. And I love it whenever any dev remembers that and actually incorporates it. It's really cool when you can pull the chamber back and like check for bullets. Not most VR games do do it. There aren't many that I, I forget that. Can I play this on my quest? Probably. Probably couldn't have before. But there, this new version's a lot more functional. Uh, it takes a lot. It's a lot faster to load. Only choice I sometimes have is grabbing stuff with the other hand. Oh, but you know who doesn't have a fucking body to hit with a laser sight? These fucking guys. <laughs> they don't have a physical form to hit with a laser. I'm not gonna fight that one. Well, I am gonna quickly load this while he's getting to me. Dude, fuck off. Let's ride. I see, I see no reason to fight every single guy that shows up. It's only for the Rift uh, Index and 5. No quest. Yeah, sorry. Maybe eventually. With how much they've added and, uh, like, optimized, it's possible that it comes out on quest eventually. But, uh, I mean, that's up to the devs, not me. All I know is if you're playing on one of those, the game runs fucking flawlessly. It damn well should. I mean, the visuals of this game aren't really its strongest suit. It's more of the atmosphere and, like, you know, all of it together. But, uh... Oh, boy, that guy I am going to have to kill. Actually, I might not. How's my, how's my stats? There's going to be a guy in that fucking tower I'm going to have to deal with. I don't really want to fight every single fucking goblin I see. I'm trying to save resources here for the fucking map. Shift. Especially since I think there's going to be a guy with a gun up in that tower again. He should have respawned when the tide happened. Oh, fuck. Hang on, I'm hungry. My pineapple! Devs? Excuse me, devs? <laughs> Where's my fucking pineapple? I literally had one right here. And now it's gone. Now I have to eat fucking... My, I got my fucking candy bar! I gotta go. We don't have time for this. Someone ate my candy bar. Now I'm gonna starve. I don't need a laser for this. He has such a tiny angle to actually hit me, I just planned on running by him. Matter of fact, I might not even engage him at all. I don't think that guy can do anything. Like, he's genuinely, like, he has no angle to hit me before I close the gap the way I'm going. Look at how fast the game fucking loads, though. Holy shit. Well, I need to eat something. Beef. Okay. So, where the hell am I going again? Three days until the next tide. We are right here. No, we're right here. Follow the road past the factory thing that we're looking at with the crane to there. Well, I reckon you might as well go through it instead of around it. You brought all this gear for something. Might as well be to clear whatever's in there and get some extra loot. I reckon this stuff respawned? Fuck, no. Alright, looks like stashes don't respawn. 
In hindsight, I should have packed one more knife, I think, for this, but uh, we'll be fine. We're just gonna take it real slow and careful. We have no idea what's waiting for us in this map. But I reckon I climbed that fucking crane. <laughs> I reckon I can climb that fucking crane. I'm hitting it. I'm just, I don't wanna waste too many bullets before it gets close enough to me to actually kill, because I probably have to finish off its core. When there's nothing fighting me, I'm gonna do this whenever I can, just to make sure that I always have as much ammo in my, you know, stuff as possible. Punk. Stupid little shit. Was that one always there? <laughs> yeah? Okay, because the audio stopped and I thought I was about to get got. I gotta watch out. I saw one of those shadow things behind me. I think I might be getting flanked in a second. <laughs> Fucking through a wall? Through the wall? I don't like that. It didn't do any damage to me, really. But, uh, I couldn't see it was even there. So I'm going to assume there's gonna be mimics in this place. Let me cut the chatter. I don't want to see anything. Cut the chatter. I gotta do this careful, like. I hear farting? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fucking Christ! Quiet, fucker. Jesus Christ. That got me. I, I, that was quiet as a ghost. How much durability does he have? I should have brought another knife for this. Some of them are more difficult to see than others, too. Which contributes to, you know... The bullshit. That's littering. I don't care. Let's get in this building. I'm gonna try to get some loot out of this. We don't want to heal until we're basically fucked. Hang on. I haven't made a proper save of my game, ever. Those are mimics. Yep. And there's still more of them. I need, I want to put the syringe in me. I can do it with one hand. The laser sight's good shit. Unless the guy fucking perfectly dodges every shot. I'm gonna actually load that. Uh, we're gonna load that because I, uh, I want to because I'm two inches away anyways. We're gonna load that. Fuck, that was, that guy was fast. They got, they got tactics that I wasn't really prepared for. Let's try that again. Uh, does that guy see me? He doesn't. Come the other way. Well, we've got like five fucking mimics I have to kill then. In a miserable hallway. Headshotted him. Now they're not here, though, which is like the scary part is now they're not here because enemy positions change during reloads. So, um, I don't even know where the fuck they are. I hear something. 
That might even be it. I don't want to go in that building, if I can help it. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Christ, these guys. Jesus. They do so much damage with their autos. I don't know why I keep going back to this spot. I can't really defend from here. Where was he? I didn't even see him. I mean, I saw him, sort of, but I didn't really... There he is. There's the other one. Give me the Mac. Damn it. Woo. Okay. There's definitely more of them. I don't feel like that's it. But I don't like where I am. I hear enemies in there. What the fuck is in that building? I gotta kill that thing. Fuck you. Ooh. Behind this for a second, please. Fuck me, dude. How many guys are in this building? This isn't bulletproof. Well, it is. I can't pierce it. Really? <laughs> Jammed. There is a uh, core in there that's causing this to happen. That I need to kill her. This is never gonna stop. You can hear it. The hell is it? I don't know if any enemies know I'm in this corner, but I need to reload my max. Got bright. It's on the ground floor. Wherever the thing is that I need. Dude, please give me my gun. That will stop new things from spawning. an ammo count, but I don't want to do it in this place. Yeah, I don't want to be in here. At least not on the first floor. It feels like there's definitely something off. I keep accidentally grabbing the gun out of my hand. Like swapping gun sides. Jesus, these fucking s spooky monsters. Is that a new box? I'll take this. It's so... The flashlight is, like, super bright. I'm not really sure why. It's also extremely bright. What the fuck was that sound? 
Really? 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 It's fine. That actually puts me on the side I need to be on. Because I wanted this box. Get out of here, kid. It's not safe. Thank you. Double thank you. Goodbye, all my ammo. Hello, shotgun reliance. <laughs> Hello, shotgun supremacy. Let's roll, baby. I do wish I could put stuff over my shoulder and have it automatically go into the bag, though. I gotta get out of this building. Stash 9. You can have my stash, bro. It's inside the pipe under the yellow factory crane by the fuel tanks. Factory crane by the fuel tanks. That's near me. I can do that. Is that a mimic? Or is that a guy? Those are little guys. We also have an anomaly artifact in here. But I get the weird feeling it's where all the buzzing is. And child, I got bad news. I'm not going fucking down there. I'm gonna have to- is that person dangling off it? I'm gonna have to climb that thing again. You guys- you guys won't let me- you, you- I don't even need to read the chat to know you would never let me not climb- like, skip it. You wouldn't- you wouldn't let me. I have to climb that thing, or you will- you won't let me ever live it down. I need to save the game. We've entered, like, the realm where I'm willing to save my game. Out of just, like, distress. GET AWAY FROM ME, YOU STUPID WEIRDO! My knife! It's gonna break. You said there was a pipe here? You holding out on me? Kid, where's my goddamn loot? I will- I swear to god, I will do something crazy for loot. I will do something psycho for loot. What's up, Katja? Least it used to be. Can see everything from Askers? <laughs> Not that I ever climbed it myself, but what are you scared? I what it would be like. The vertigo, the awe. There were some boys I knew who claimed to have made the climb. I almost believed them. What are you I scared of something, can't you? You scared of a little bit of climbing? We could see and what? Now there's nothing to see. Dude, Katja's- from around here? Was Pachorsk your home like it was mine? No, fuck no. I'm here for the money. Did you come here later? No, nah, I'm here for the money. For work? I'm here for the money. For work. For love. No, nah, not love. I'm here for work. She is a ghost. She doesn't have any idea. She has no Maybe context. I on being here for a year or two and then going home. Wherever home was for you. Or maybe you plan to emigrate? No, I plan to emigrate down to the basement to get the fucking artifact down there, but I feel like if I go in there, I'm gonna blow up. You know what I mean, Katya? It's cruel of me to ask all these questions when you don't even know your name. Yeah, I- I- it's, uh, Tomato. I do know my name. Maybe... Zima? Or Max? It's Tomato. It's Tomato Gaming. Find me, and we'll figure it out No, I've got a brand, Katya. You're not gonna- I'm not gonna let you fucking step all over it. What is this, a camera? Photo trap. Valuable equipment left behind. I'll take it. I can't see fucking anything with this fucking light right now. Double light! This is a blind, basically! Anything that ever comes after me, chat! I'm going upstairs for a second because I'm gonna double check that note. Because I swear to god. Hang on. Let's take this with me. Yellow factory crane by the fuel tanks. 
I'm gonna look around for those fuel tanks. Kid, where the hell did you hide the treasure? I swear to God! Factory crane. Does anyone even see any fuel tanks? Oh. <laughs> These tanks? Nothing in that one. Some over there. There's nothing in these. These are barrels. Yeah, well, I don't see any fucking tanks. Do you see tanks? Hang on. I have to take down some idiot, some freaking moron. Shame what happened to him. I'm gonna save my game and I'm gonna climb this fucking crane and then I'll be able to see the treasure. We still have to do the objective, by the way. This is just bonus. Step aside, kid. If you don't know how to get up this thing, you don't deserve to look. <sighs> oh, Jesus! On the roof! Jamming. It's not even like I'm running out of ammo. On the fucking roof. My hands all shaky. I'm never gonna be able to do this with one hand. There goes the rest of my fucking ammo. Yep. That one full mag. Maybe. 13 out of 15. One full mag. My M9 is falling apart. I cannot believe how bad it is right now. What is your fucking problem? Really? People all day today fucking with me. Come back. Come back! Come back! Fuck you! I hit him once. Hit him again. Hit him. Killed him. Fucking hell. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up this tower when there's like a thousand guys that all want my ass. Alright, you know what I mean? Like, they all want me so bad. They want my ass. They'll do whatever it takes to have it. Alright, kid, watch my back. Here. <laughs> if anything happens, use this to defend yourself and me. I'll pay you five dollars. I got a candy bar in my bag with your name on it. All you have to do is shoot anyone that shoots at me while I'm climbing this funny thing. You're not alive. Let's do this. Try to do it quick before someone fucking blows my brains out. Chat's gotta move. Sorry, chat. I'm disabling you for this. <laughs> this is fun. I love climbing. You know, the fun, the, the bad part is getting down. This is the easy part. The easy part's getting up. The bad part is when all the monsters see you climbing and they go, ooh, tasty little morsel for me. And they go and chase you. They all stand at the bottom waiting for you. Where's, where am I going from here? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, fuck. We're so close. Just don't look down, chat. Just don't, chat, just never look down. Don't look down. Don't look down at the bottom. I'm not grab. I wasn't grabbing anything for a second. Oh my god. Oh. Sir, sir, you're not standing on anything. Maybe it's just very small mesh. You guys think? It's 
it's like a 40% chance that this is uh, actually going to kill me. And it's like a 50, 60% chance or so that when I walk forward, I'm going to be on an incredibly fine mesh, invisible to my eyes because I'm on an index. What the hell's this funny looking thing? FMJ rounds I'll never use. Keep the castle secret. Those who spill it will get punished. What is uh, this? <sighs> well, what the hell do we have here? Sample container. This doesn't look like a cool rifle. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get a sniper! This isn't a sniper, this is some bullshit! <laughs> this ain't the gun I wanted, this one's bad, Dad! I don't want this gun! I don't want this, I didn't want this! <laughs> I didn't want this gun! Come on! You knew I wanted an Xbox! <laughs> Is it loaded? This is gross. These, <laughs> this is a completely broken magazine. Is this not where the... <laughs> Am I crazy? That looks like the magazine hole to me. <laughs> Which means these aren't the... Ra these don't go to each other. This fucking asshole who put these things in the same box. These are for different things. They gave me a gun that doesn't go to this. Who packed this? Whatever. I'll put it in my side thing. Save the game. I packed it for you. Yeah, well, Jack, get ready. Here we fucking go. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a circus act. You know, I just realized I took the wrong beam. <laughs> Is there even anything in there? Can I grab this? Oh my god. Oh my god, safety. Safety, I can grab these. I said I can grab these. Oh my god, there is something in there. found ourselves a knife and a grenade <laughs> to kill myself with once I realize there's nothing in these boxes because this isn't I mean I kind of need the knife actually I need the knife hang on put the knife in there I need the knife these don't open these don't open what's in this what is this pay a fair price to get their hands on this okay Chat, we have to get back. I'm saving the game. I'm committing to getting back. And if anything goes wrong, all right? If you even think about doing some bullshit, all right? I will blow us all to smithereens. I will fucking do it. I swear to God. I will blow us all up. Oh, sick. I can grab this rope. How am I supposed to get down once I'm up there? Wait, hang on. All right, I'm gonna fall to my death trying to get on, getting back onto the platform. <laughs> Worry about it once we get there. Ah! Ah! Wait. I lived, bitch. Try harder next time. <laughs> <laughs> I lived, bitch. <laughs> I never found the fucking stash that was here. But there's no more tanks. 
This is the crane. Whose box is this? That's my box. Go back and look. <laughs> Go back and look again. What time is it? Chat, the sun's setting. We li we have to move. We can't look. F we can't worry about this stash. The sun setting. Our options. It, we're so close. We have to push. No, not dressing mode. Menu mode, you fool. We gotta go. We don't have time to worry about that crap. We're low on ammo, low on supplies. But our objective is right this way. Right? 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 Yeah, right this way across this horrible, 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 fucking awful shithole. With no ammo to our name. I believe I can safely traverse this water. It stings. Hang on, I actually need- I need to eat something. That's not food. That's not food. That's food. One moment, please, sir. Wow, you are fucking coming at me. Quick! Cool it! Chill out. We gotta move. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is all that? We can't go that way. I can't get in there. That place is all stinky. It's full of shit. I've got like tendrils re reaching out to me to kill me. I'm stuck inside this stinky fucking water too. Chad, I kind of freaking hate this map. I, like, want to go home. Okay, we've hit the road. I, this has to be my location. All right. Let's see, we're looking for a pond curving around the road. Right there. Trees. Fuck me. Fuck me. I have to go in that fucking thing. And now this guy is going to make a fucking bunch of noise. How much more ammo do I even have? Wait, can I check? Nine rounds. Seven rounds. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. We're looking for a helix. My fucking face is all cut in half! Ow! What just hit me? Fuck me, I'm I'm pinned. I'm pinned, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I fucked up, I need more medicine. I need doctors. Get this, there's so much crap in my... Ugh. And once again, the thing I need is on the opposite side of an impassable, like, impossible to pass fucking threshold. Wait. 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 Get fucking destroyed. God damn it, it spat me out. Fuck. Eh. Eh. Oh, there's stinky shit there. There's shit there. There's shit here. There's shit here. I can't get this way. There's shit there. I gotta go this way. Ah! Put that in the Psycho Scream collection, okay? Give me what I desire, the heavy helix. I deserve more. Did that to me. You don't. You don't deserve it. I deserve it. Fuck off. I don't know how I got in here. I think I got hit multiple times doing it, chat. 
I think I take my chances running straight ahead and hope I don't blow up. Please. <laughs> I lived, bitch. It'd take more than that to kill me. Now, Chad, all I have to do is get over there and it's going to teleport me back to the exit. Take my helmet off. All I have to do now is leave and the game will say, oh, I see. Now that you're leaving, I can teleport you. Is this empty? Now that you're leaving, I can teleport you to the, unless this is an exit. Fuck, it's an exit. We gotta follow the wall a little bit this way. Or maybe just go back to the factory. The factory's safe. I've cleared the factory. Well, my body is ravaged with pain. I'm not healing. Fuck you. I don't need to. What's up, idiot? This guy died. Imagine that. Dying. Is that bullets? Cool. <laughs> I actually need those. Actually, I'd rather put them in this gun. Cool. That gives me... Nine rounds. That's an anomalous corner. Anomalous corner. Don't fuck with this place. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Wait! Nothing. Nothing. Let's go. We're leaving the way we came. We're getting the fuck out of here. We're not gonna fucking heal because I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need that. I need it. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I just remembered that there's gonna be a guy with a gun at the fucking other base, like the entrance. He's gonna fucking immediately shoot me and fucking kill me. I need it. What time is it? I'm getting sleepy. My guy's actually getting sleepy. I need to like nap. It's fucking 10 a.m. I mean p.m. It's 10 p.m. Anyone, please. Please, some, just some help. Please, a little bit of help. I see the exit to the next zone. Eeny, meeny, meeny, mo. catch the sniper by the toe. Get me out of here. That's a sign. That's like a fucking big sign. I gotta get out of here. Chad, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Wait, the sniper wouldn't have been much of a threat on account of the fact that he had this. <laughs> Damn, I know who that, what that sniper had up there, and it was this. I'm not that worried. Wait, well, let's, let's collapse this. It's actually really cool that you can collapse it, by the way. It's a cool touch. Je uh, I would say that went about as well as it could have. How much am I getting? Wait, how much are you getting paid for this again? A thousand dollars. We have operated on what I would call a colossal loss today. <laughs> we are about to suffer an immense loss. I gotta get around this corner before this guy shoots me. Cause I know he's up there. I'm going to sleep in the safe house here. Rather than take my chances leaving. I reckon. At night. Cause this place is kind of a shithole. I don't know if you've noticed. But at night, this game's kind of a shithole. I don't really want to get got at night. So, uh, I think we take it easy. And we're careful as we can. And we take a break in this shack. Because we're here. Ooh, there's also a box here that I didn't know about before. That, I think, spawned in. Give me food. This isn't food. Or this is spray. Give me ammo. One buckshot. Wow, really breaking the bank for me, game. Some high power rounds for guns I don't use. You know what's really cursed? When these, when the game constantly fucking puts all of its safe houses in spots where I take fall damage getting in. 
Wake me up at like, I don't know, 9 a.m. How are you so brave and cool and muscled up, Tomato, to play this freaky fucking game? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked, chat member randomly selected by me amongst, you know, everyone. I'm really glad you asked. Training, practice, pumping. It checks in the mail. Only someone as brave and powerful as me would be able to handle this game for more than 20 minutes. I don't deny it. I don't deny it. You know what I want? More pineapple. How much more durability does this knife have? Not much. I'm ignoring the fu- I'm ig- Really? Really? You really want to try this with me today? I've had a bad day! Step up! Little bitch. <laughs> that's how you- that's how you- that's how you do it the right way, alright? That's how you're supposed to sheath your weapons. With one hand, you're also supposed to unsheath them with one hand, alright? That's how gamers do it. That's how people with, like, fucking multiple, like, super joints do it, alright? <laughs> All right. Chat, we did good. We did good back there. That place sucked. I want you to think long and hard before you do what you're about to do, son. Because you have no idea how crazy I am. I might not kill you clean. I might. Ha! Owned. Actually fucking Actually Galaxy Brain owned. He had no idea. He had no idea what I was gonna do to him. That was a player. That was a real world human being that I just beat. That's right. That was a that was a human being player on the other side, trying to survive out here, and I took him out with a melee knife throw. Paid player. <laughs> Dude, how much you pay him, idiot? How much you pay him? How much you pay that guy? Pussy? Huh? Keep pushing me around, and one day, chat. <laughs> this isn't a pump action, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna check what's in here. I think stuff respawns, which means there might be new stuff in this uh, tower. Might as well, since I'm here, take a quick little peek. Oh my god, the box is back, baby. You know what that means? Candy bar. Attention. This is UNPSC emergency guidance. And a new pistol to sell. L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering from one or I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> well, it's not actually as scary now that I know that I can fall from the crane and not die from full health. It really does. I remember seeing a patch note genuinely like a week ago that was like, we got rid of most fall damage because people thought it was miserable. And honestly, hey, Sleepy Coffee, thanks for the five gifted subs. Uh, honestly, I'm down for it. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm down for that. It's already miserable enough without fall damage on top of it. This game does this game is not a parkour game. But we did it. We made it. We got what we came for. No one could ever take that from us without killing me, without actually murdering me, without stabbing me. Trying to murder me. So, uh, where the hell is this thing? That's a grenade. <laughs> That's not my item. It's fresh delivery. Close the door. This is a normal helix. I know I had the heavy. Where the hell is it? 
There it is, way back there. They're both heavy. They're not. Neither are heavy. Uh, I abort the mission. I don't need to do that one, and I tell you what, it can go to hell because these things right here are gonna sell for a thousand dollars anyways and make me my money back. Look, seven hundred a pop. Chat, like that's the thing. That's not a mandatory mission, so it can suck my cock. All right, I just made a ridiculous amount of cash through simply collecting things. All right. And frankly, as far as I'm concerned, okay, we still, we're total winners, and that was a W, okay? That was a gigantic W. And if anyone says otherwise, that's gonna blow up and burn this whole place down to the ground. We better fucking wrap this up. Two, th three thousand dollars, chat, and you're telling me that was a fail, and you're telling me you're gonna tell me you're gonna look me in the eyes, and you're gonna tell me that we didn't just make a ton of money. Yeah, right. Shut up! What's your IRL sanity? Low, dwindling. Okay. Look, it could have gone worse, but it could have gone better. Okay? That's as simple as that. Bolotsky Village is a hard place to get to, it's rough. Why? Wait, what was it? I like how Tomato is keeping the toothbrush. It's my toothbrush. You know? I also use it to clean my guns, though. Which this gun needs a fucking cleaning. Something fierce. You get all that muck off of it, you know what I mean? Get that thing turned around. Yeah, we're fixing it up. We don't have to pay the fucking scumbags in the train a thing. Not a dime. Isn't that lovely? I think that's about all we can do for it. But the bad condition that was. Just grab a dub dub. The hell is this? A bunch of bullshit? I need to get rid of that box. And then we just give it a nice little wipe down with the toilet paper. <laughs> As you do. Oh. Hang on, where is my ramrod? Where's my ramrod? Jack, where the hell is my ramrod? Where the fuck is my ramrod? <laughs> I know I owned one. You stole it, didn't you? You fucking goblin. You stole my ramrod. I have half a mind to ram this somewhere you'll never forget if you do something like that ever again. Understand me? Mmm. Mm, that's not that's not how the, that works. Mm. Mm. This is how we clean it. Looking good. And I thank everyone to remember now, alright, that I'm not playing. Okay, it would only take one second for me to do something I'm even gonna save. That should scare you more than anything in this world. That I see, I just saved my game. All right. It would only take me one second, okay, 
to escalate this in a direction you might not like. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't ever forget it. Okay, so you can't put the pin back in the thing. I thought maybe I could, and that's why I did it. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh no. Uh. Okay, chat, well, here's what we'll do, okay? You guys wait in there with the grenade. Okay, and I will wait outside. Shred, I reckon it's time to wrap up for today because this game is a fucking exhausting nightmare and I've had enough for one day. But, uh, I do certainly hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm gonna switch over to the, uh, to my actual stream, uh, computer. And I'll be right back. Hey, what's up? I'm back. Hey, it's me. I know, I know, the, le the streamer. The, le the legendary streamer, Tomato Gaming. I'm back. I know. I know. Uh, but yeah. Um, I do not know if I'll be doing more sessions of this, mainly because uh, I refuse to commit to it without knowing what I'm going into. So I'm going to be playing a solo separate game on my own, and we'll see. Uh, either way, I, I wanted to stream it really badly regardless because I really wanted to, uh, show people what the game was like. Cause, um, I think it's fucking awesome. And, uh, these devs have done a great job fixing this game up. I think it's especially interesting because I streamed the 1.0 version. And now I'm back playing this one and it's like night and day. And I even liked the 1.0 version. These devs have done an awesome job, and I say personally this is like one of the top three or four VR games on the market. As far as immersion is concerned, this is the number one, I would say, VR game on the market for like actual immersion and like atmosphere. These devs fucking nailed it, and they've done a really good job fixing it up. And like if you can get past the crusty visuals of it, it is fucking amazing, and uh, I can't give it enough thumbs ups. If you have VR, uh... Yikes, imagine not playing this. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's like embarrassing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get through, I'm gonna get through notifications and uh, make sure I don't miss any of those. I have D&D &D tomorrow, so I won't be streaming. Uh, I will be uh, playing D&D. &D. So uh, that will be uh, on Joe's channel. It's gonna be at 3.30. Uh, EST. Time goes forward today. We're about to lose an hour of our lives, chat. It's going away forever. Okay? How are the visuals crusty? Some people... Look, even in the headset, the textures are very muddy. All right? But they make up for it with, like, really unique visuals and, like, a beautiful, like, lighting system most of the time. Uh, there's some, like, quirks that happen with it. But, um... I mean... I don't dock the game points for that. This isn't a huge dev team. This is a pretty small, compact team here, and they've done a really good fucking job. So, yeah. I can only play it for like three, four hours at a time before I feel like I'm going to die, but I always have fun doing it. And, I mean, chat, the fact that they like de literally delayed their newer game because they wanted to fix this one up is like one of the uh, most classy moves I think I've ever seen devs do. So, that's double points for me. 
They didn't have, they are, this game was already in 1.0 and they genuinely remade the whole thing and like delayed their other game that they already put out a demo for. They delayed their other game to get this one working properly. So, yeah. You could, for context, after a certain point in the 1.0 version, your performance in the game would just really dive because the map was all one map and it got really crusty as you get like closer to the center of the map. Like we never got there during the stream, but uh, yeah, none of that happens now because they've shrunk it down and like compressed everything so much. It's good shit. I mean, has a smaller team, but it's still classier than the Mountain Blade devs. No, chat, here's the thing, okay? These devs have worked on this game so fucking fast, it actually baffles me. Um, I'm not trying to, like, sound like I'm, you know, I, 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 genuinely, like, look at the speed of the updates. Like, if you get this game, look at, like, the update newsletter, like, the news list. They're updating the game, like, once every two weeks with, like, a map and, like, a whole new thing and all these fixes. It's really crazy. Like, <laughs> this game's 2.0 2 happened so fucking fast. It was, like, I, it was wild. But, yeah. Good shit. I'm going to be definitely keeping an eye out on what these devs do next, because uh, I've got a good feeling it'll be something special. Uh, anyways, let me get through the notifications. I definitely got some people, but obviously if I miss people during this uh, during this today, uh, might be. Oopsie daisy. Um, it's a lot. Okay. Thousand Manx, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. 30 gifted subs! Thank you, Thousand Manx, for that. Sleepy Coffee, five gifted subs. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, G Carmine, five gifted subs. Thank you, G Carmine. Uh, be, 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 be. Uh, thank you, um, Colio Wing for the 2300 bits. Thanks, Colio Wing, for that. Bits don't show up very well on my stream, uh, in my, like, display. So I gotta be careful I don't miss any. I don't want to miss any. God knows I don't want to miss any. Uh, Octanian, thanks for gifting us up, as well. Thanks. I'm so paranoid, I don't want to miss, like... I try not- I try so hard not to miss things, but I know I do every time, and it's so much harder in VR. Uh... I don't- Look, if I missed you, okay? I'm sorry. You know I appreciate you, alright? It's just- it's a lot. There's a lot, and I don't even have my glasses on right now. And I'm, like, tired. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Uh, I hope you had fun today. I hope everyone had a good time. Obviously, like, these games are hard for me to just be like, haha, funny every 10 seconds because it's VR and it's stressful as fucking hell. And I don't know if you noticed during some of those sequences, I was like in gamer mode, like hardcore gamer mode. Like when we got to like the factory, I was like sweating. So it's hard to like do certain things, but I hope you had a good time. I will be back on Monday at 3.30 p.m. EST. I got Godforge tomorrow at the same time as usual streams on Joe's channel. Uh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you then. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye. If I missed some of your notifications, I'm sorry if I missed them. Thank you, though, regardless. And if... You want, you can always message me and say, hey, you missed my fucking $10,000 I donated to you. What the fuck? Give me my money back. And I'll say, haha, no refunds, but thank you. Haha, <laughs> 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 thank you for the $10,000, but I'm afraid I'll be hanging on to that. <laughs> I'll laugh like a villain. LOL. LMAO. R-O-F-L. Bye, everyone. <laughs>